I get it like Ken. And again, I get, watch me bend over. This is your one wish. It's a given eyes in church like fish. Today I got my throat lozenges. I will be opening it like Wendy though throughout the day. I love Wendy. I just want to be her. I just want to have that TV show. I wonder how much she was making at the height of her. Oh, millions. Real, but like, okay, but millions is not a lot. Like if Let's someone see. gave me three million, I'd be like, no, thank you. But 30 million, maybe. Welcome to Just Trish, guys. This is Just Trish and Oscar and Moses. And we are doing a hot topics. Oh no, we're doing Trish topics. Trish takes. It's like been two months and we're still working yeah, on Yeah, I mean, hot topics is just so, so iconic. Yeah, so iconic. But is that a Wendy thing or did a lot of people do hot topics the view also did hot topics oh, so yeah i think it's just like a daytime talk show yeah. kind of thing right okay, hot topics yeah. that's what we're doing we're doing daytime talk i would love to have a daytime talk show like i love doing this and i feel like would actually make more money just doing a podcast so i just want to be on like on a set with like a crew and just walk in and like you know okay guys what are we doing today yeah writer's room writers we're on room. strike right yes. now but yeah oh, right <laughs> yeah. we do not use writers on this no, show don't. it's all improv baby <laughs> that's the tea though oh my god you're very more i know back, is she back to Today. Back today, yeah, and they're striking outside her friend's studio. How are people okay with this? Like, I think she's trying to just have everyone else work because, like, you know, there's it takes so many people to do a show every day. So I think she want that's how she kind of justified it. Is yeah, like on else, one so. hand, I totally get that because like so many people are out of a job, but it's also like these are your writers, yeah. like pay them. Like mm -hmm. Drew Barrymore definitely has got the money to pay them, just like Jimmy Fallon, like all these people, they have the money. Yeah. So if you really just pay well i guess pay the writers on your or pay the staff that you don't want out of work although it's also complicated too because then the writers they also don't get paid what do you think is going to happen like i heard like i heard that they're just trying to like make them go broke basically to like come back yeah that's what the studios are trying to do is trying to just push them to the breaking point but they've been holding out for so long and there's also like for sag specifically they've been raising money um a lot of act like big time hollywood actors have donated to sag mm -hmm. to make sure people can like pay their bills and you know afford to go to the doctor and stuff so okay. i know they're pretty serious about holding out as long as possible until they get what they want that is scary i feel like if there was a youtube strike tomorrow like i honestly don't know like what i would oh, do oh my you know? god imagine a youtube strike what would that even be nobody and, would even no. adhere to it <laughs> YouTube is like oh. the wild, wild west. It's always been the wild, wild west. It's still wild, wild west. Like no one knows what goes on. What can you do? What can you not do? It changes every day. Like I love it for that reason, but I don't know. No, there's literally no way the YouTubers can go on strike. Ryan's world, that little baby is going to sit there and like. I think he's How still old around. Is he? Watch him be like twenty now, but I heard um, like kids content don't get doesn't get monetized anymore. Like I was talking to a kids content creator, and she like all my content is marked as kids, and I don't get paid for it. Oh, like she only gets sponsorships. I didn't know. You, I know that's like you can't run ads on it or something. Or yeah, anything comment, but I didn't know you you don't make anything. Which is crazy. Yeah. I wonder if that's like the end of the family channels. I don't know. It is interesting. I wonder why that is. Is it because they don't want to see? But we watch Miss Rachel and we always see ads, so I don't know. I don't Maybe know that's either. not true. We got to know how much Wendy Williams makes. She we made 55000 per episode, which isn't that... I guess every doing it every day. <laughs> it actually isn't a lot. I would think more, right? Because you hear Definitely. like friends and every, like those people made like yeah. millions per episode. I guess that she's doing it every day. Yeah. So what is that? Half a million a week? I mean, what is that? Yeah, half a million 55 a week. 55 times. 1.5 1.5 million a month. Yeah. Oh, actually, I guess, yeah. And yeah. she just kind of came and was silly. So <laughs> I think at my height, I made like 800,000 a month. So I guess that's pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Dang. That is crazy. She should have gotten more. I know, because she's so iconic. It's she was so iconic. Content that lasts the test of time. Maybe she just, <laughs> true. I always see it on my TikTok. It cracks me up. I'm just like, I love her. I wonder if she was like, a. she, she probably wasn't in the writer's room, right? She just shows I up. I think she just showed up. <laughs> I love that. Like, that's what I want to do. I want to show up for an hour. <laughs> Actually, like, I don't mind the three hour. I love the three hour format. Like, I honestly, I lost my voice. I know I may sound like sick. You might be like, oh my God, Trish, you're not, but I'm not sick. I've taken COVID tests. I've taken all this stuff like that. I literally went to Vegas, had my daughter's birthday party. We went out last night, like super late, which is like not like us. Got up early today. So, um, I'm losing my voice. And I was like, oh my God, my voice is like my, what is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> my, my voice is my money maker, my work. What is that? What, what is that word? Right. If I don't have my voice, 
I'm like, Ariel, like, how am I going to make money? By the way, thank you guys for watching this podcast. Oh my God, we have another sponsor today. And even without sponsors, we're making money. This is great. I'm so excited. I am like, honestly, so thankful. I'm thankful every single day. We were just talking like literally before we start. We're like, I can't believe people are watching. So thank you. Even the hot topics where I feel like legs a little bit, but people are like, no, we live for the hot topics. Like last week, what did we even talk about when I got like half a million views? No, we just, we're just chit-chatting. I love it. I don't know. That's why I like love you. And we talk so much before. So I, that's why I have to like get in it quick because sometimes we talk so much before that I like, even I glam, I'm talking so much through my glam. I'm talking like, I'm like, and I gotta save some for today. I was like, I'm gonna save my voice, but then I was talking all throughout. Glam, I do so. love the little raspy, like Emma Stone kind of vibe, but just for like a little bit. It's like a sultry. Okay. It kind of matches you, the look today okay. the darker hair, the darker skin. They, yeah, the tan. <laughs> well, just a tan. <laughs> it was just to a clarify, little tan. Yeah, just yeah, a yeah. Jerkins, no, but. it was supposed to be an Ariana Grande. I thought it was a new look that she did. I have the photo, but I guess it's like an old look because I guess now she's doing blonde. I actually do have an Ariana Grande look for next week. I know. We talked about Ice Spice, but maybe Ice Spice I'll stay for Halloween because I'm looking, waiting for the medallion to come in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're going to coordinate, so I didn't want you to come like Ice Spice <laughs> if I wasn't Ice Spice. So I will tell you what I know my outfit. I think next week I have another Ariana outfit plan. Because have you been seeing everyone at the U.S. Open? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I got this outfit. It's a little late to the game. The cosplay from Wimbledon, from Ariana watching Wimbledon. Mm-hmm. Like right when the news broke and she has her Emerald City glasses with her right, Wimbledon Yeah, cap. right before everything kind of exploded. Yeah. yeah. The Ralph Lauren turtleneck. I, like, it took me a while to find all these pieces and to afford these pieces because the Givenchy boots really like broke me but uh, I finally got all the pieces so I was like okay maybe I'll do that next week because I saw all the people at the US Open and I'm just like how, what how are they getting invited and two why is this a place to watch celebrities like I'm so confused everyone was there which is like I've never really been a big tennis well, I mean have I watched any sports no but specifically <laughs> tennis is like I never really thought it would be that like cool to watch yeah. but and you have to like really like the one person like, yeah. there's no team. There's no state That's, that they're representing. Oh my God. You, you spilled. Know? I didn't even think about that. You right. really have to be invested in that one person winning. Yeah, and I don't, I couldn't tell you one except for Serena and Venus. I don't know any other tennis player. John McEnroe. He was like in Adam Sandler movies. There was one, Andy Rock. Andy, oh, Andy Roderick yes. was married to Mandy Moore. Oh, was he? And also to another Sports Illustrated model. Oh, I have no. I could have been. Making he was that also up. in an Adam Sandler movie called Just Go With It. At the end, <laughs> she's on the airplane and she's sitting next to Andy Roderick, who's wearing an NSYNC shirt. I don't know her name. God, she was like I crap. She was like a Brooklyn Decker, maybe. I don't oh, know. yeah. That sounds right. That sounds right. Yeah. yeah, she was like the thing before Kate. Who was the other one? Kate. She had like big boobs and it was uh, Upton. curvy. Upton. Kate Upton. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. No. Got there. We got Hot, there. Straight girls. <laughs> um. Yeah. But the U.S. Open. Everyone's at. Are they? all at the same one yeah it was all the same game it was a big final game is okay. where everyone was so at. everyone so Lynn manuel is at the same one as liver and cox and kylie like yes. they're all in the same all in the same match yeah what did you think about kylie and do you think it's, it's definitely publicity right i don't know it's been going on for i guess six months now is how long it's been going on and i thought it was publicity when it was just silly tea i thought chris jenner was just giving the dolls something to talk about right. like <laughs> she's writing this fan fiction up and sending it to tmz but mm. I'm honestly, I'm honestly, I am honestly starting to believe it now. No way. I think they sold me on it. There's no way. Just, I don't know. Just like the little, I don't know. I don't know. People say me and Moses have no chemistry either. So maybe, I don't know. You know, you just look at people and you're like, that doesn't go together. No. So a lot of people said that Kendall and Bad Bunny don't go together and Kylie and Timmy don't go together, but if they swapped, it would make more sense. Right. I kind of see that, but also I think Timothy is so unserious and he's more unserious than people think. So you I'm, use this term so much. What is that really? Unserious. You'll say unserious. Does that mean like they're funny or they're just like not serious? I got <laughs> that. But you're always like, oh, she's so unserious. But I'm like, what does that mean? It's, um, Who's serious? Who is a serious person? Like I just can't take you serious. Like it's just jokes all the time. Like it's not good to be unserious. It, it depends on the context. Like you, you make fun of them. Like, haha, you're a joke. It depends on like sometimes unserious can be silly. Okay. And then sometimes it can be annoying. Okay. You okay, know? Okay. So it's like a fine line. I think Timmy it kind of walks that fine line. I think people think Timothy Chalamet is like first of all, his last name is Chalamet, so he has an accent in his name. So I feel like that gives him the like allure of being fancier. Right. Like and he French. is. is yeah. He? I think French. Yeah. Timothy Chalamet is how you pronounce actually pronounce Does he his have name. an accent? No, he speaks French. So But he's born here. I think so. I, how do you not no, know this? No, no. You know everything about him. I feel like you are the Bring him up. Stan. Yeah. I, how do I talk about him every episode? How do you not but know where he was born? I don't know. Should I see? I would know all this stuff. Like, anybody <laughs> could tell me. I'm like, yes, I know where they're well, born. I'm not a Timmy C. I'm like, not a Timmy C. You Stan. are. You I'm are not. Stan. You know everything about him, his know, movies. Oh, my God. You're like, oh, he was in this movie with, who was the guy that Army ate people? Hammer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you knew. This is why you're my co-host. He was born you in knew. New York. Oh, yeah, oh, how so, funny. So yeah. he's like one of those people. Um, <laughs> but I, he ha- like plays such serious like artistic roles. And, but I, so I think people 
think that he's, you know, more right. like artistic, elusive than he is, but really he's like pretty unserious. Yeah, yeah. And I wonder like now dating like Kylie, like that doesn't like doesn't that take away the seriousness of you? Like you're no longer elusive and mysterious, like you're dating. I don't know. I think Kylie is like she's at least like People can hate on the Kardashians, but they are at least like tastemakers in their own way. You know, they really set the trends. And I think Kylie is also smarter than people give her credit for, too. I mean, to be the first Mm -hmm. one in the family to be like the billionaire. Totally. No, I love them. I bought all the Kylie little mini Brad dolls. Kylie is, I think, my favorite out of the whole Um, Kylie and Kim are my my two. I like Kim and Chloe and Courtney. <laughs> Courtney's think, my least. No, yeah. Courtney kind of is a vibe now. She's kind of like just so out there and wild. I'm just like, okay, girl. Um, which I love. She like does not care about anything. She's like, but I think the younger people are just not on the show. The girls are never on the show anymore. Yeah. So I can't get into them. Like, I only started watching it since it's been on Hulu and they're like never on. No. Literally, when they're on, they're like doing a driving, they're driving around a parking lot. I'm like, riding a horse. Like, yeah, what's I was like, this is not interesting but i mean like props to them they don't need to be on it they can do the money but i like people who give a little juice you know yeah i think kim and chloe really give i think courtney gives too she gives a lot of personal life stuff i mean they had to set up her whole thing with her ex that first season i was just like oh my god like having to have like scott as part of your i get her frustration she goes this is a love story why are we bringing up my ex like Mm -hmm. that would be so annoying so i give her props for like you know leaning into that for the for the kids for the viewers you know yeah i would Courtney, I can't. I guess Kendall's still public enemy number one. Courtney is <laughs> <For you>. like, <laughs> <laughs> no, she is. People really do dislike her, which is so crazy. Talk about give nothing. I think Kendall gives nothing. Yeah, I, I hate to say, actually. I don't care about saying it. Yeah, yeah. I hate. To, she is just like she kind really of knows sorry. it. I think. I think she knows too. At this yeah. point, that's why she's like, I'm not. I don't want to be in anything. I don't want to dress up as Chris Jenner for the Chris Jenner party. Like and, I think she's just like, I'm yeah. over it. And she just degaffs. But what's degaffs? Degaffs. Oh, degaffs. Yeah. yeah, we love a degaff <laughs> moment. Edible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remember. I love Ajibol. I say it all the time. It's so good. I love when you use the little words that we bring up in here. I know. I've been, we've been saying we say period all the time now. <laughs> Moses has period all the time. He's like, period. I was like, okay. It's just a good way to end something or to affirm something yes. or to say yes. Period. My bi- period. My biggest pet peeve is when people don't reply back. Like when we're in the car and I say something and no one like replies to what I just said. Like I reply to everybody. So that's why I stop replying. Sometimes when I'm in the car, I'm like, I'm just going to give no response to that because it happens so much to me. It's like the weirdest thing when people do that. They just give nothing. I was like, hello. But I think that's so awkward. I always respond. I always do a ha ha. I was like, yeah, I get that. Like something. <laughs> Because it just ended is so weird to me. I don't know, but I want to go to the U.S. Open and I want to do my Wimbledon look because it's, it's going to be old pretty soon. So maybe I'll do that next time. I don't know. Yeah, well, it was semi relevant. Yeah. I love Ariana. I just love her. I'm having an Ariana moment right now. Maybe we get her look alike on the podcast. She was just at New York Fashion Week. Good for her. Can you? How that did she walk, get that? That walk was something fierce. Like who put what? her in? I love. First of all, I love know. that they did that. I would love to do New York Fashion Week. We don't know the designer. <laughs> it was like the content. It was like a some kind of content creator thing. Do you think New York Fashion Week is trolling us this year? <laughs> Did you see the Kanye lookalike? Yeah. The Jewish Lives Matter? Well, I literally thought it was actual Kanye. I was going to like screenshot it and send it to Moses. I was just like, oh my God, look, but why Why are they doing this? Why are they being so unserious this year? <laughs> like, I'm so confused. Like, I thought it was so high end and bougie. Uh, no, well, I think for like so many different brands can like show at Fashion Week too. So I think it depends on like the house that's showing. There's some that are just going to make no noise. So I think... If you are a fashion house that's not going to get any promotion, you might as well just go all the way on Sirius and then get promotion that way, I think. Right. Right? Because people are talking about Ariana Grande, but now we need to know the house that put her in the show because I was like, (laughs) this look like, I kind of live for it. And does she look like her or does she just do her hair and makeup She honestly, I think she looks like her. But it's hard. I've never seen her not like without the ariana like look though but every time i've seen her and she's been doing this for years i think since 2019 or 2018 wow. and i've always been like and the mannerisms too the way she talks and, and like it's her not laugh. an ai or anything no it's it's for real she's her it's for real wow. her i love that i wish i looked like someone that much that'd be so much fun to be a look like <laughs> it says the creators inc show at fashion week is that a that's a clothing Creators line? Inc. Creators Inc. Are they in Macy's? I feel like I've definitely shopped that brand. I love Macy's. There's a bougie one at Macy's. Oh, it's a no, no, it's a so it's a management social media firm. Oh. So it's not even like <laughs> Wait, you make it up. Love that though too. Is it like a fashion show for the social media firm? I guess so, yeah. I guess they put on their own show. I love that. And it's probably like all just to get in promo. That's kind of a concept. I would want fashion week. Maybe Givenchy will put me in fashion week. Yeah, with the boots that fit you properly. Yes. Yeah. I don't think those were ride cap boots. We'll get into that later. We have a very <laughs> special guest with a very uh, Givenchy special, but later in the podcast. But yeah, her Paige's walk was 
really page i've yeah, heard of her yeah i don't you like the walk you thought it was good Wait, i don't think i've seen it Can oh you my god it you, or no? oh my god yeah i have hard? it oh okay well <laughs> oh here okay oh well, she's doing an ariana thing right is that an ariana walk i i i want no does ariana walk like that that know. was my I first walk. i, mean, oh, I kind of live <laughs> i kind of live for that Oh my god, I'm here for it. I'm even crying. <laughs> no, I kind of love. Like honestly, if I was in a fashion show, I would do that too. Like I would do something crazy because, like, when you try to walk like a model, like then you get clowned. But if you just are so quirky and out there, I love that. <laughs> yeah, no one's like gonna take you seriously. Like, yeah, I guess when Kendall Jenner, you know, people always make fun of the way Kendall Jenner walks. I haven't seen her walk oh, either. Really? Oh my god, all these walks. Well, she kind of just like. I don't know. She doesn't really serve, but <laughs> God, I hate her. Ask her the hater <laughs> know, over here. Era. But um, people like clown her because she's trying to be a serious model and like walk. But I guess this way, it's like you can't really make fun of her really because she's not trying to. That's what I'm saying too. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I feel like once you take yourself seriously or you're trying to be serious, then that's when people can clown on you. If you're just like I'm doing this front, even if you're the best model, like Tyra Banks, I just saw a walk of her when she was like young and it was so good. It's like it's just better to take yourself like unserious. Yeah, yeah. Because then it's like people don't clown you. You know, like Tyra was so unserious and her. <laughs> talk show era <laughs> yeah. the fact that she had like seven seasons of like how the worst the worst host ever i'm gonna say that at least as talk show maybe america's next hat model but i just remember when i did her talk show i was on season five episode one um she literally like i don't know who did her notes but she was just so all over the place did not know who i was did not know why i was there did not know like anything about me i was like who briefed this person and it was a five minute segment someone could have literally briefed her right before i walked on and like nothing it was so bad that, i'm sure there was like a poor producer somewhere that was like trying to give her the information she's like yeah yeah i got it I, that, don't you see that uh, yeah that could be that yeah. could be she was very just standoffish for sure not like rude just very standoffish did not want to talk to you did not whatever maybe she was just like memorizing what she had to say yeah but she got it all wrong the most but, serious yeah so. but people live for her people live for her too that talk show was kind of iconic too yeah i remember loving it back in the day did you watch yeah i remember i think i was really into the whole fan i was into top model i was in when she was like yeah. bigger you know when she that um, photo of the bathing suit and she, she kissed my, my fat, fat ass. ass i was like crying i was like yes Tyra. she got uh, yeah. me she for got me sure. good with that. i think we all like felt her for <laughs> yeah. sure it's like jessica but, simpson in the fat jeans yes. and yeah and then looking back at the interviews and the clips and stuff i was like what was going on in this production no, it was she crazy was wild or even america's next top model but again i think that's just like a sign of the times like people try to cancel america's next top model for like changing <laughs> yeah. races and, and like yes obviously problematic but it's like back then it just like wasn't a problem people just didn't have that like knowledge of what of is, is like harmful you know yeah it's like just you look at things in like the 50s and anything just, they change so much so i feel like when you hold someone like to something even 10 years ago like so much has changed and yeah. obviously for the better but like if you look at us like 10 years from now they're gonna be like oh my god why were they saying this or doing <laughs> why this? were they dressed like that yeah, yeah for sure did you see there's this new thing like on uh, twitter now where it's going viral where people are making fun of the outfits on gossip girl but at the time <laughs> like they were serving looks it was like early 2000 like those are the looks you know 2008, they, they were giving high fashion I'm going to disagree with that. As a Y2K girl, oh, I, I, forgot you hate I love girl. the girls next door. That was the Y2K fashion. Yeah. Gossip Girl was like, who was dressing like that? I guess I didn't grow up in Upper East Side, New York, but I definitely did not like those looks. I remember thinking when I was watching it, like, again, this is just, you watched it recently. I was yeah. like in the moment, like every Monday, like fighting for my life in the trenches for Gossip Girl. <laughs> And I thought they were like serving. Lo- I'm like, wow, they're so high fashion. They're so fierce. I, they're so- yeah, it was a major deal. I know everyone loved it. So I guess I could see that. And now I'm like, I can't believe everyone thinks their outfits were ugly. I thought they were so sweet. I think that was Sex in the City, maybe unpopular opinion, but oh, I just do not love the outfits. Me too. It's not cute. Even the movie ones that were supposed to be big, like when they went to Dubai, like mm-hmm. she has one cute outfit, the Jador Dior with like the big skirt, but like everything else is like, especially the show, I was like, this is not it. No one looks good. No one's flattering. Like, just because they have, like, Noel Blahnik, which is the ugliest shoe ever, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and so uncomfortable. It was just so weird. Like, I don't know why that was considered, like, fashion. No, yeah. Some things did not age well. But you're right. Girls Next Door, like, their outfits are so... Iconic. Cute. Yeah. I'm a little biased. But I love that. I'm trying to think what else Y2K. Like, Lizzie McGuire. I thought that was yeah. the Y2K fashion. Raven. I feel like that's it. I don't know. Gossip Girl, to me, it's just, like, again, that was an era I just never was a part of. I guess, Sex and I guess again, like, New York. I'm just, like, friends and Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't even get me started on those. I'm just like, what? No, it's all making sense. I forgot your vendetta against shows in New yeah, York. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what it is. I mean, I liked you season one, but yeah. I like Ben Badgley, though. I think I know I talk about him all the time, but I still want to know what his co-host relationships are to him. Do you know that on Podcrush? No. He has, like, what, he has like two? Yeah, he has yeah. two girls, but they're like, none of them are the same age, so I don't no. think they went to school together. They all seem like they're just learning about each other for the first time, like in a good way. Like they're always asking yeah. him about questions about you and stuff, and I'm like, this is such a funny <laughs> podcast. I love it, but yeah, Gossip Girl. Yeah. 
I wasn't. I tried to get into it. I really tried to get into it. I just I didn't like the people. I mm. season two is. Sh- I don't think you'll ever get into it, but I will say season two is probably like this is when it really got. Oh really? It really got good. Yeah. I stopped at season one, so maybe I'll yeah. pick up at season two. I feel like you, yeah, it's okay if you don't. Like I'll understand if you don't, but I'll try it. Yeah, season two is where it really. Hit I watched stride. it when we got in a fight one time. I don't even know what we fought about. Do you remember? It wasn't a fight. <laughs> I just stayed on the couch for all night. What was that? No, I think you were sick. Oh. <laughs> I feel like both. I feel like I was sick and mad at him for something. No, I think you were sick and then Maybe just by being sick, you were kind of grouchy. Yeah. Something about food, I'm sure. I'm always mad when the food doesn't go right. <laughs> if there's not a meal plan ready, but, I'm like, what the heck? No, but you were sick and you wanted to stay away from Malibu so she doesn't get sick. Oh. So you went down and watched the show. I, I was just being mad. Because I felt like what? it was awkward. No, wasn't there was no tension? I don't know. Maybe there wasn't. It was you only know, tension in my think mind. There's a fight, and I don't know. That's true. We had a fight again on the way to Vegas about the butter noodles because we were watching the podcast last week up and about the butter noodles, and he tried to tell me that's not what he was saying. Even though it was what he saying. And you know, what we had that night. We had butter noodles, and he had a coke after dinner. We had butter noodles last night too. Now we've been having butter noodles nonstop since that conversation. It's so good though. Actually, they're not that good. I'd rather have bolognese, but it was missing the parmesan cheese. Uh, I always get like okay. No, anyways. <laughs> Not important. X. X. What? X. X. X? Haven't you been on it lately? I'm oh obsessed my with it. God. Have you seen my tweet? Have you seen my X's? What are they called? There's posts. Oh, posts. Have you seen my posts on X? I'm kind of into X now. I'm kind of into Elon Musk now. We have a very special guest coming up this oh my Thursday. God. Probably my favorite guest of all time. And he brought up Elon Musk a lot. So then I started getting into Elon Musk because oh, he's my favorite person. Why, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he was like, oh he's like, I love Elon Musk. I want to go to space. And I was like, I didn't know he had the power to go to space. So I started researching him. And I was like, I would love Elon Musk on the podcast. I... I'll tell you why. Because you know I hate Teslas. I hate Teslas. Yeah. But I just have questions about Teslas. Because I – here's what I always – I never understand. I had a friend that had a Tesla. And he, like, I'm so obsessed with it. But, like, we would still stop. I think we talked about this. We would still stop in the middle of the night to, like, charge. Yeah. So why – why my question is, is why are you charging when it's quicker to get gas? Like, it doesn't save you time. <laughs> So it doesn't save you money or does it? I don't know. For me, I charge at my work, so mm. I don't pay for it. But I will say like if I like don't go to work that week, then it's like it is a pain because I have to go find a super – I mean this sounds like so annoying. But I have to like find a supercharger <laughs> and it's annoying because it, there's not that many around me. So I have to go plan my whole morning around charging my car and then I sit there for like 40 minutes to charge it. That's what it. I'm saying. It's such yeah. a long charge. Yeah. And if you don't have a supercharger, then it takes you like eight hours to charge. So it can definitely be a pain. But for the most, I'd say 90% of the time it's easier for me, I think. 80% of the time. So why are people charging their cars and not getting gas? (laughs) Fossil fuels and all that stuff. I don't think that's real because I'll tell you what, the G-Wagon started becoming electric and I was like, oh, I'm going to get an electric car. And then everyone's like, guess what, Trish? That's even a bigger carbon footprint than getting gas in your car. Oh my God. So I think, I don't know the the reasoning, but everyone was saying actually it's worse to get an electric car. So I'm going to just go with that. Because I think is isn't oil bad? Oil? Like, shouldn't we not ha- use oil? Electricity, <laughs> it still comes from somewhere. And sometimes they use oil or, or coal to make the electricity. Shoot. So, so it's just a question of where they make it. Sometimes they make it in a different place. So maybe they're able over there to filter it better and it's not going into the air. But it's still coming from the same sources. I think just Tesla's, I think it's kind of a scam too. Because <laughs> I remember my, another friend, the same friend that drove the Tesla, bought a Tesla truck. For like half a, it was like 500, is it 500,000? I don't know. 500 million or 500,000? I don't know. This truck was like a lot of money. He paid for it in advance and they're still not out yet. And you had to pay up front for it. (laughs) And no one has these trucks. What a scam. And everyone's just like, it's fine. Like, it's okay. What if, like, what if Elon disappears? What if Tesla goes under, like. And you're never going to get that. Yeah. I feel like they wouldn't refund you or anything. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I had a makeup artist that was like, I get it. He was like, you're new. Like, give me a, a security deposit. But I'm like, what if you don't show up? And I booked a different makeup artist and that makeup artist didn't show up. So I'm like, what if I would have booked a deposit and you didn't show up and then I lose my deposit? So that's how I feel with these. Like, what if you pay the money up front? You know what yeah, I mean? It's like, I got a gift card from my mom to a spa and then the spa closed down that's, and they yeah. never, yeah, that's a gag. So like, yeah, she can never use that gift card. I can never got my money back. Yeah. It's over. It's like a lawsuit too. If you sue someone and they file for bankruptcy, you don't get the money and they get a clean slate. Oh my slate. God. Isn't that crazy? I yeah. actually like won a lawsuit and the guy did that and I was just like, what the heck? <laughs> I spent so much money. This was like a long time ago. It's like 2015. It's so crazy. It's just like those Givenchy boots. You, you 
Okay, I had to pay in advance for them. I paid, took it out instantly. Seven thousand dollars out of my yeah. account. It took five days to get it back into. Actually, four. I'll say four. Four days to get it back in my account. And I was like, no, just put it back on. And then I called my bank, and for everyone's like, wow, you're so pressed about seven thousand. Yes, I am pressed about seven thousand. I had my daughter's birthday party. I had like a lot of glam. There's like a lot of people I got to pay. You know what I mean? So I was like, yes, I was pressed about it. And I just I called my bank because I saw it like you know it was said like authorized, but it wasn't. And I'm like, call their bank and just get the funds approval. And like we can't. And I was like, why? Like I see it there. It's so frustrating. I'm just like, I am so overpaying, over consumerism. I don't like any of it anymore. I'm just like, what the heck? But Tesla be the biggest scam. And then they have the SpaceX. And apparently, my guest was talking about going to space. Anyways, you'll see that. But he's talking about going to space. Or what was he talking about? He was talking about super fast planes that can go to London in like three hours. No, the old planes, the Concorde is like an old plane that used to fly really fast. And he's like, yeah, it's just, you just, it's just an engine. And I'm like, okay, so then why don't all planes do that now if we have engine technology now? I think it's crazy. I think... I think Elon's smart. I'm curious to know why he has so many kids. I think he has a lot of things. He has a third child now with, yeah. with Grimes. I would love Grimes on the podcast too, but she's a little harder. Most like you could probably get Grimes. I'm like, no, I think she's harder to get than Elon probably. Elon, I'm sure, would do this podcast like in a heartbeat. I, I, I think he would. He hosted SNL. Unserious, you know? <laughs> That's true. I think Grimes has more rant, like podcasts. I think she might be likely... But yeah, Elon's also problematic though. So I would have to like hold oh. him. We'd have to put him through the ringer Wait, too. Wait, really? Why is he yeah, problematic? There's he's like, problematic. No one, wants, no one likes me either. No, he's like You very, think Elon is more problematic than me? He's very problematic, yeah. Tell me the most problematic thing. He's like transphobic. He's like um, homophobic. Oh. Yeah, all the phobics. Well, yeah. why do we know this? How do we know this? Because his one of his children is trans, I believe. And he like won't speak to them or something like that. Well, maybe we I can d- bring him together. <laughs> Did he say it out of his mouth? Like, I'm not trying to defend him. I just love him. I love him recently. But did it come out of his mouth? Because if that's true, then I'm so sad and I'm canceling I don't Elon. Think so. I think the uh, post on X, he said some stuff about that. Mm. Yeah. And I think yeah. he said he bought Twitter because he didn't like that it enabled that, like, kind of freedom of mind that, you know, uh. people can identify as, like, whatever they want to identify as, blah, blah, blah. Maybe he's trolling. I will have to, when he comes <laughs> on the podcast, we'll have to get to I the bottom hope, of it. I hope. Oh, man. That's sad. I know. What, sh- do we know the person's, his his uh, child's name that's trans? I think it's maybe the first one, I want to okay. say. The other, I can't even, I don't even know the names that are so wild. But so wild. What's the new one? Like, Magnus something. Yeah. Magnus. T- no, Tecanus t- Magnus. Let's see. Remember the one that was like XQC? Yeah, that's the. Is that real? <laughs> well, XQC is a streamer, but it's along the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's so many streamers how are there so many streamers it's like i and they all probably make so much money i'm just like how oh yeah techno machinus is the new one or the yeah the new one i don't know how to pronounce the other one x yeah 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 xz musk the name musk just sounds ick like musky. Yeah, musky. Yeah. So you're not you don't want him on the podcast? I mean, if you think no. No, I mean I want him, but we would have to still hold him accountable. You know, we can't just, it wouldn't oh, I'm not that kind of interviewer. I, well I could do it. I'll put <laughs> I just like people to be happy when I they're know, here. Funny. But he is one where it's I could like, never I can never sit with this is why I can never be a journalist like sit with someone and be like, <laughs> so, so why do you hate your trans child? Like, you know what I mean? I mean, I would love to get to the bottom of it, but I don't know. You know, I don't know. Sometimes asking the source. Like, I like when people – I don't like when people – well, I do. I like when people ask me about my problematic past because then I can explain it. Yeah. Maybe there is an explanation there somewhere. Like, he's a troll or something. I don't know. We can Elon get to the bottom. Yeah, we can get to the bottom of it, I think. If you can do – I mean, I'll, I have no problem. With him. Right. I, I'm not really afraid. He's kind of dweeby, so I'm not really afraid of him. So. Dweebs scare me. The smart ones, I'm always just like, gosh, you know so much. Like, how do you know so much? Like, the ones who can invent a car, right? He invented the Tesla. <laughs> like, you created a whole car what like how are you not how are you not president do you know what i mean like that's what's so crazy to me yeah but then they all some of them like lack you know conversational skills and like they're also like easily easy to intimidate i think because they want to be especially elon like really wants to be like seem like he's cool right so i think he's easy to kind of like push around oh, a little bit i feel like i would intimidate him so much <laughs> i think he would too i saw him on, like a couple of him on joe rogan and i wasn't intimidated but i am curious and i think the fact that he like bought X, like how much did you buy it for? I don't remember. Like a billion dollars? Yeah. 42 or 3 billion. But he doesn't have 42 billion in his bank account. Is it like a house where you put a down payment down? Tesla is worth probably a few trillion dollars. So he just sold some Tesla stock and bought it. He has a lot of money. Wait, okay. And Tesla's worth a few trillion. And how much debt are we in in the US? Anyone know? <laughs> are we in a few trillion? How is he, again, why is he not just taking us out of the, the debt? That doesn't make any sense to me. A lot of me. people criticize. They're like, why did you buy eggs and not solve hunger? 
you know, the problem of hunger in the world. What did but he say? It's not for him to solve. You know, it's like there's... <laughs> <laughs> if I had a trillion dollars, I think I could feed a few children. He believes that going to Mars <laughs> is the most important thing to do. Like oh continuing God. life <laughs> outside of planet Earth. Yeah, he has. Uh, that's why I think it'd be interesting because he does have. He has a lot of children that he does feed. Doesn't he have like twenty? Yeah. He has yeah. more than Nick Cannon, right? He thinks he thinks our population is shrinking right now, and we need to populate. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to talk to Elon about. Crazy! Yeah. Oh my god! I think my sister's single. If he ever wants, <laughs> I think that's a good one to date. Like he's a trillionaire. <laughs> yeah. That's insane! Oh god, could you imagine him on that Bobby Altoff podcast? Her just asking him for money the whole time. Remember, everyone she goes on, just give me money. Can he just? <laughs> I, this is why I don't get it. I love her. Like, kudos to her for getting all these guys. I'm not really trying to hate. I mean, it is a little shady, but like, what? You have Mark Cuban on and you're like, can you give me money? Can you give me $100? Like, I, it's so weird. Elon Musk, I'd probably ask him. He does have a lot of money. Maybe he'd buy my Perkin. <laughs> How do we manifest this? Well, we just did. Yeah. God. Just keep tweeting or uh, exing, posting, every day. adding him. Maybe every posting other day. Him, yeah. Xing him. <laughs> Elon must come on. Eventually, Death I feel like eventually I he'll have to have go genuine back. questions for you on so many levels. Like I'm so confused by Tesla. I'm so confused by everything about it. Why are they so hard to get? Why are they in the mall? Why don't you just have like a standing store? Why don't they take gas? Like you give us an option. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like I don't know. I'm over Teslas, but I've been over, and it's not even that I'm a hater. I have a calling in, so I can afford a Tesla. I can't really afford the calling in, but I still pay for it. Um, <laughs> but Elon, <laughs> it doesn't take much. The call the calling in doesn't take much gas. I think we're leaving okay. Less than the Range Rover. It's actually better than my Jeep or the Range Rover. Jeep sucks. The Jeeps are yeah. horrible gas guzzlers. Yeah, the Range Rover is the worst from ours, but yeah. Oh, and it's uncomfortable too. I mean, <laughs> grateful for our cars. Don't, <laughs> don't let me be unappreciative right here. But we forgot to remind people, by the way, please leave a podcast review for Apple, Apple, Apple podcast, podcast reviews on the Apple Podcast app. We have how many? There was over 700. 700 reviews. Wow. 4.8 stars. Please, yeah. please, please go leave us reviews. It helps so much. We're getting those sponsorships, baby. Thank you. Hey, guys. Today's episode of Just Trish is sponsored by More Labs. I'm obsessed with this morning recovery, you guys. We went out last night until 1 a.m. and I did have a couple drinks. And I took this after coming home from drinking. And boy, did I have a smooth morning. I was nervous. I had to get up for glam, do the podcast. And I really just felt totally fine as if I didn't drink after not drinking for a year and it felt so good. You guys know I'm 35. I am not 21 anymore. So if you're not 21 anymore and you want to feel good after a night of drinking, I highly recommend More Labs Morning Recovery. More Labs created this nifty lifesaver drink called Morning Recovery. It's right here. How cute is it, you guys? Morning Recovery helps prevent rough mornings after drinking. Similar drinks have existed in Korea for a long time, but there were no options like it here in the U.S. That is until the founder quit their job at Tesla to create Morning Recovery. So... Yay. All you have to do is drink one morning recovery while you drink or right after drinking and you will have a smooth, seamless morning. It will be like you never even went out the night before. It contains herbs, vitamins, and minerals that help you bounce back and a propriety blend of electrolytes to rehydrate you. So you can have fun at night and feel good the next day. You'll feel like a real human, just like you did when you were 21. For all you skeptics out there, they conducted a clinical study and users of morning recovery felt up to 80% better than those without morning recovery across various symptoms after drinking. I really, really recommend this product. I did go out last night and I felt so refreshed this morning. So if you need a little pick me up after a night of drinking, if you're feeling a little iffy about it, I highly recommend morning recovery by More Labs. Go to morelabs.com and use code Trish for 25% off your first order of morning recovery. That's morelabs.com and use code Trish for 25% off your first order of morning recovery. Thank you, More Labs, for sponsoring today's video. Are we over the Elon talk? Well, you never, you never chimed in on Timmy and Kylie. You never said what you think. I have no thoughts. To me, they're just those people <laughs> that I have nothing to say about them. And I know everyone talks about them, so I'm like, I want to. That's why I brought it up. I'm like, well... How can I how can I talk about this? But it's just like there's nothing to say. They don't do anything. <laughs> well, I thought you'd be into it because they were eating chicken tenders together. So I Where? thought <laughs> at, the at US, Beyonce at the U.S. Open. They were. I didn't see that part. Was she they, eating them? Even she, that's what I was really shocked. They were each eating a chicken tender and then they made out after. So I was like, okay, that's pretty Trish coded. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. Okay, that's what I'm saying. It feels a little staged. Like you'll never see us just casually like eating chicken fingers and making out together in public. You know what I mean? Like, no, we wouldn't even do that at home. Like we're not eating food and then making out after. Like it doesn't seem real. Like even in the newlywed stage, it's just like not like that. I feel. I don't know. I'm the more at, the, the, at Beyonce, I was not into it mostly because Timothy was smoking a cigarette and, and then yeah, and then like flicking the little ashes and on the crowd, I was like, okay, that's a little ew. like mm. smoking. I think that's why I got this. Like seriously, in Vegas, people. We're smoking and I'm just like, 
And like at a concert, like where there's kids, mm -hmm. where there's someone singing in front of you, like why are you smoking? Yeah, I didn't like that. I think it's him trying to be chic, like you said. I think he's trying to be that mysterious Johnny Depp. Yeah. So I wasn't into it when I saw that, but then something about the U.S. Open it kind of clicked. I was like, maybe I don't hate it as much as I initially. When the reports came out, I hated it, but now I think I think I'm getting into it. Wow. Why? Yeah. Kylie is the most elusive one in the family, I yeah. think, you know? So she mm-hmm. has kind of like an air of mystery around her. She's kind of cool. So I think it kind of works. I'm like, but I'm getting into it. Chris yeah. Chris got me. Like she. <laughs> I wish Chris could be my manager. I know. Do you think she manages anyone besides people related to I her think so. I would love Maybe, that. yeah, maybe we can make it happen. Although Chris now, she was like hanging out with Beyonce after the concert. They're like, oh I forgot that Chris is like kind of one of the most powerful people she's like connected yeah. for sure she's on i think she lost a lot of weight someone said she was allegedly on ozempic but now i heard ozempic like literally there's an article that says it causes cancer i think everyone causes everything causes cancer yeah. so i'm not trying to say whatever <laughs> but like it's me just trying to rationalize not getting on ozempic <laughs> have you tried it have we talked about this i have i've had the not proper ozempic i've had this the, oh, the m1 yeah yeah the one that you can just get easier that's not stealing from like diabetics um, yeah i should actually get tested for diabetes in general i it didn't really work for me though i don't know if i was doing it right so what happened i was still hungry but i don't oh, know if it's just psychological like you know me too that's what i think like even if i feel full like i'm still i still feel hungry I'm like, oh, it's time to eat you know i know <laughs> or if you see someone eating you want to eat too even yeah. if you're not like i don't think it would work for me either or if you're just like emotional if you're happy sometimes you want to celebrate with food if you're sad you definitely need food that's what like, i say I'm yeah. like, i finally have a husband and child to have family dinners with i'm like i'm not gonna skip out on dinner yeah. like it's so fun for me and it's i don't know it's so weird i'm not about it should we do a shoe cam they like the shoe cam last time they're just full on wendy they sue us one day <laughs> these are the ice spice shoes that she oh speaking of ice spice i should have worn these these are the ice spice shoes that she wore in a music video where she has a pink robe and long hair oh it was with Nicki minaj yeah yeah oh Nicki minaj should come on okay she doesn't seem to be a maze tomorrow. She has Pink Friday Volume 2 coming out. I'm going to decide. I know you have to pick between a Barb's and a Cardi B. Yeah. I love them both. But I don't know if I should say that. But I am a Bar- I think I'm a Barb's. I think I fit the vibe more. Yeah. Pink, Barbie. I don't know. Is Nicki Minaj problematic? I mean, I don't mind if she is because I people consider me problematic. So I don't think – I mean, there's problematic parts to everyone. I, I would say overall I feel like Nicki – I don't think there's – like stuff with her husband, but her in particular, I think she's pretty. I, see, you know. I don't think we should judge people based on their like partner. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I get it. I get it. But there's like stuff you don't know, stuff we don't know. And like, I'm not defending him. I literally have no idea, whatever. But I'm just saying, like, I don't think you should. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, I love Nicki Minaj. Me too. I do love Nicki. I know. I would love to get her on. Do you think she could? I think there's a chance for her. Barb, I think Ice there's Spice. a chance for her. Don't and you, you know what? People always send her TikToks and she's been like responding and like hi- she's been saying, oh, I'm going to hire you from people she sees on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Oh so if you make enough Nikki TikToks and the Barb send it to her, okay. I think she'll see it. And that's how we Can get it. Can you her. edit it for me? Can you yeah, edit my course. TikTok? Okay, so what do I say? You just have to do like different things to her songs and stuff. Like different. Um, yeah. If you just. It, and like if you caught like do her outfits and then oh. we could do like a. Oh my God. It's all like I love spinning it. in my yeah, head. Tell it's me, like, tell me, cosplay all of it. Yeah. So we cosplay. We do a few episodes of you as in like different okay. Nikki eras. And then we put it all together. We keep sending it to her. The Barb's will see it. The Barb's will send it to her. And then she'll know. I did wear her Kmart clothes when I was on Good Morning America. America in 2011. Okay, that's a good start. Can you insert it somewhere? Yeah, to show? we'll start. Yeah, we'll go through the she eras. She reposted it on Twitter. She like retweeted it. It was so like I genuinely loved her Kmart clothing line. I wore it on Good Morning America. I wore it on like Guinness World Records Live. Like I did like a whole press tour wearing only Nicki Minaj Kmart clothing. Period. I so this love is a good it. start. I would like remix one of her songs. I'm trying to think like, okay, what's like a new Nicki Minaj like? <laughs> And I'm mad like a Barbie. Barbie. I still want to die, but I, or I look like a doll, but I still want to party. Wicka, 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 wicka. And I get it like Ken. And I get it and get, watch me bend over. Now get it once again. Oh, <laughs> this is your one wish. It's Nicki Minaj and Trish like fish. Wow. Okay, that's kind of good, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I'm into that. Oh, man. I think it's going to happen. I think if we, it's kind of one of those things where I feel like if we bring it up enough, like, every yeah. episode, I think she'll eventually come. Oh, God. You know, I really hope. So, she's going to host the VMAs tomorrow. Who's even up? I don't even know who's nominated for anything anymore. Okay. So, the tea. There's actually some VMAs tea that I'm excited oh! for us to discuss okay. next week. But the big thing is, so, Nikki is hosting... But Cardi and Megan the Stallion are performing. So people are kind of worried about them oh. being in the same room. Wait, why? Because Nikki and Cardi have beef. And then um, Megan, too, kind of by association, because mm-hmm. Megan did a collab with Nikki. And then she collabed with Cardi. And then she collabed with Cardi again. So people think she kind of chose 
mm-hmm. Cardi over Nikki. You can't be both. It's hard to be both. It is hard to be bipartisan in yeah. the in the Barty Barbie world. Right. I like both, but if I had to pick one, I would pick Nikki for I sure. Know. I think she's just been around the longest. We she's just, just yeah. I love her aesthetic. I love. I think she's, she's funny. Dumb. She makes me laugh a lot. Yeah. I love that she's like on TikTok live with people. Yeah. Like that's <laughs> everything. Yeah. I think that's so cool. Dang. Okay, we have to watch the VMAs tomorrow because I used to love watching them. Like when I was a kid, oh my god, like glued to the that TV. That was the, the show to watch. Oh, like Britney performing at them and stuff like that. Mm. It was so good. It was always a little messy. It always. Was always. Yeah. Always messy. Who's nominated for like best video? I think oh Doja Cat is gonna be yeah. Who was just Ice Spice and last she's night. performing. Yeah, and Ice Spice. Ice Spice is gonna be there. Okay. Taylor is nominated. Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah, Olivia yeah. Rodrigo is so popular. He literally, Moses literally is like, you should get Olivia Rodrigo on your podcast. I'm like, okay, she's literally the most popular person <laughs> in the whole world right now. Could not be more popular. I almost wore my Olivia Rodrigo shirt today. Why I was did like, you? Because I'm like, oh, I'm like old, so it's like kind of embarrassing. But I think I'll just do it next week anyway. I know. Yeah, she's so popular right now. I, I want to get her. into it, but I, I don't, I can't yet. I don't know her songs yet. Yeah, I think you would, because now she's a little bit more like pop punk, so I okay. think you might... You I like to get into anything it. young and cool, you know. Yeah, I'm I'm like a fully into like this whole era oh, for Olivia Rodrigo. I love it. Are you gonna go see Taylor Swift in the movie theater? Oh yeah, I have my I have my tickets already. Do you yeah. think they're gonna do special popcorn buckets like they did for Barbie? They are, they're not cute though. It's just like the different eras, it's like, like her poster. Oh, okay. but I mean, I'll still get it. Yeah, but... I would go. I'd honestly go just to go to the movies because I love going to the movies. And oh I was my like, god, I'll go see it. that's a good way for you to experience the concert. Yeah, yeah. and I could just like leave halfway through if I wanted to. <laughs> I was like, we can go. You know what Oh Once I have my popcorn and nachos, then I'm like, okay, I'm bye. Do you eat at the movies? Yeah, I like I love when you can like order the food and they bring it, you know, and it's like um, I just like the regular t- snacks. I, it depends. Like sometimes, it's like if you don't have time for dinner when you before going to the movies, like you can't be mm-hmm. hungry during it. So yeah, yeah. I eat my snacks before and then I have like a meal to like suppress because I always get sick. So then I always need like a stable. <laughs> That's when the butter noodles come in, and I just have a little stabilizer afterwards because I always get sick from the popcorn and it's so good. I I love making the own like my own drink from the little soda machine where you can mix all the different uh, flavors. Yeah. It's so fun. It's actually so gross when it comes out though. Do you ever see like the I get Coke lime and it comes out green. <laughs> Ooh, like that's so disgusting to me. I drink it though. I love a Diet Coke lime or like a Pepsi twist. I love making my own Diet Coke concoctions. Mm. I do like a little vanilla, a little cherry. I kind of just mix and I feel like a little All scientist. No, I pick like three. Okay. And I feel like a chemist or something. I like, know. It's so fun. Yeah. Going to movies is a good experience. Me too. I, it's my favorite thing to do. Like, I'm glad they become safer. Even for a minute, it was getting kind of like scary with the violence in theaters. I know. I was always like so scared of the movies. I feel like a little better, although I do sit close to an exit just in case you yeah. know but there was a fight there was this viral fight on x slash twitter <laughs> but at the uh, the barbie at a barbie screening and i was like what could possibly you be fighting about the barbie movie of all of all movies the some there was like an older lady pushing or a, a little kid pushing an older lady something like that yeah Why? it was pretty crazy what? i don't know <laughs> I love when Investigated you Investigated like, Trish. <laughs> journalist Trish over here. I forget what it was, but it was something, I think one of them was a little homophobic. Yeah. So in that case, go ahead and push that lady, I guess. Yeah. I guess yeah. you're being homophobic. That's the worst. At the Barbie movie, you're going to bring yeah. a homophobia. That's not the like place. That. Time yeah, yeah, and yeah. place in the words of What is the time and place for homophobia? <laughs> tell me. What is time and place? As a gay man, you can tell us. <laughs> Where is it okay? Maybe like a circuit party or something where people are just like you know, practicing unsafe sex, I oh. guess. <laughs> okay. Or yeah. Terry Joe. Yeah, that was my other thing too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The New Orleans Isn't Pride. It's crazy the stuff he gets away with saying. Like, sometimes <laughs> I watch stuff, I'm like, what? How are we like, he's so funny. We love-. That's what I'm saying. 10 years from now, someone's going to be like, what the heck? This yeah, is so that's problematic. True. <laughs> I think certain people can get away with it. He was so funny. There was fight at the Jonas Brothers cost- I concert. I saw that. You see that. I didn't. What was the context there? Do you know? <laughs> I don't know the context. I just know they were performing in the background, and these people were just like full on fighting, probably over Joe Jonas being. He's not a commodity now. I see so many TikTok trends like me leaving my husband now that Joe Jonas is single. What? Did you see the one where he like followed like maybe like thirty random, or maybe like three hundred random people, and like the girl, the one girl like shot her shot and was like, "Would you go out with me?" And he like unfollowed her. <gasps> no. Yeah. I was like, girl, like, why do people? I shouldn't talk. I was like, I'm a little Lulu. But I'm always like, why do people think they have like, I guess everyone has a chance. I shouldn't say it. I guess everyone has a chance. Like you never know. Someone yeah. can respond. Although. To me, I'm like, that's just so crazy. Like Joe Jonas is single now. And it's like, let me shoot my shot. Like but that's. You responded to me. <laughs> Very true. Giving, chance. giving people hope everyone. <laughs> 
Very true. That's what I'm saying. All right. You never know. It could work out with someone who slides into your DMs. It was crazy. I saw it. It was crazy. I remember checking your profile and seeing if you've ever messaged me. It was like a that day. And I was just like, oh, let me see if you ever messaged me. And then you, you messaged me that night. It was so weird. Because I never check my messages ever. And me so sometimes, too. Yeah. It makes me anxious. And so then, I just never uh, see. Never love. But sometimes I'll go to like a celebrity or like just a person I know and see if they've ever messaged me. And sometimes they do. You're like, oh. I feel like. That with like one day I'll see like Britney Spears or something, you know. I yeah, know. you'll randomly check and then she'll finally respond. Who's looking yeah. so good being single? There's not much Britney news, but she looks so good. I know. She's living her best life. Remember, you have a similar tattoo she... to her. Do you have a red snake? Oh my god, yeah, on her. Oh. She, I realized that she got the snake on, on her, her back, back, right? Yeah. I would never get a tattoo, but Britney Spears was like, do you want to get a matching snake tattoo with me? I'd be like, yes. <laughs> anywhere i would do it on my face on my belly wherever she wants it i would absolutely gag for it i guess i'm confused about the joe jonas because i thought people were anti joe jonas right now so why are people excited about him wow you know girls it's like the, it's like anybody they're just like well he could be a horrible guy but we still think he's hot you know what i mean i feel like uh, that's yes. just because it is weird i've been seeing all those fake ones okay how did this meme even get started so on twitter x <laughs> everyone's just yeah. like oh joe jonas left <laughs> yeah. her because she like blocked his viewers like it's like now it's all these reasons why she, he left had, her, which is, she bought chairs that he could and touch the ground and, <laughs> right, right, yeah. yeah so where did that start did he say something it's because there's been so many like uh inside sources giving tmz information and uh -huh. tmz has been up like every day tmz have like a new update and it was like sources tell tmz that sophie did this so people were just making fun of um allegedly joe's camp feeding tmz these like crazy stories of, of reason like to kind of make people think that basically trying to make them team joe instead of team sophie uh, uh, people just started making fun put of it, it out I mean, not him personally, no. His team. Allegedly his team. What does it, a team mean? Whenever someone tells me they have a team, I'm like, what is I mean, granted, like Joe Jonas probably has a team, but you know, like some influencers. <laughs> I've been trying to get a couple influencers on and they have like a team. They have like 10 people contacting me. I'm like, I where who are all these people? Why so many? I I've know. like interviewed some big people now, and I'm just like, they don't have like this massive team. They have like two people you talk to. I know. It's like it's crazy. It's there's like manager assistant to the manager, and then there's some uh, publicist. Publicist, and then it's agent. Like, yeah. And then just like random, like you said, assistant, just like random people texting me. And I'm just like, this is too complicated. <laughs> do you think they're all getting paid? Do you think they're getting scammed? Like these influencers are getting scammed, like paying all these people? Or are they just like to have a posse? They just oh like my to God, be you around? know what we should do? Because like, it reminds me, there was, I remember like when I was looking for jobs one time, they would post like listings. There's like a section on the entertainment um, career site for like influencers basically ah. to work for an influencer and a lot of them are like assistants or whatever and like the pay in a lot of them is like it's like they say part time and the pay is like minimum wage like minimum no. minimum yeah so I, I think, think it's influencers like are like that. cheap yeah yeah for the most part from what I've heard that'd be funny to look at one day of, like the listings and like it is crazy sometimes I see like people who work with influencers for brand deals and they'll say like a TikToker who has like half a million followers on TikTok gets like. $15,000 for a TikTok. I'm like, I don't get $15,000 for a TikTok. <laughs> and I'm like, I should be asking for more. I got an offer today and she, uh, someone that helps me out with that stuff. I know like, oh, you went to this TikTok for $3,000. I'm like, but this person has half a million. They're getting 15000 you know what I mean? Like, I'll maybe do an, like an Instagram story or something like that. But damn, a TikTok. I know. My TikTok is like, I feel like pretty good real estate. It's got some good commercial uh, lately, value. Lately, yeah. <laughs> Not <You're>, lately. <laughs> no, I mean extra lately. Because yeah. you've been like, you've had so um, many different verticals going now. Thanks. I've been just, you know, I've been into it again. It's like TikTok. Funny. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like a boom right now, I feel. So I kind of ride where The one where that killed me. I love like talk addressing your TikToks with you. The one that killed me was the freaking, the recipe where it was like um, the, the tea, what was it? The tea the lemonade and the pumpkin pie. Mm, that was good. That, that was, was good. wild. I was craving all of that. And I was like, that just sounds so good. I think it was after we did it. I think you inspired yeah, me because you had a tavern. Yeah. I was like, I should do a tavern TikTok. I'll probably do one today because those are the ones I get views. So I'm like, maybe I'll do one today too. I love, I'm doing a magazine cover shoot this week and they want to do the tavern on the cover. <laughs> I was like, wow, maybe we should build a tavern before this happens because otherwise it's just my kitchen. And I was like, that's kind of everything. It's my new era. A new because that was the concept of this uh, magazine. They're like, we want to do eras. They're like, you know, mommy era and kitchen floor era and tavern Trish era. I, was like, yeah. it's I love how an era. Yeah, like it's so relevant. Thank you for keeping up to date with it. So that was our fun. God, TikToks are so fun. Taverns are my favorite. They're so much. They're fun. killing it. They I get know. me every time. Thanks. They really do. I send I need them to, to get everyone. A pink one to wear on the show. I know. I was I thinking know. that. Because I love wearing next. them. I would love for other people to come on and wear them with me, but. I feel like 
Brittany Broski probably was. She has like kind of like a Ren Fair kind of podcast. She does oh yeah, now. she like crushes it. She's very uh, anti straight man too. Kind of I feel like. Oh yeah, yeah. She's very much like men are horrible. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. And she's always with gay men, which I love too. Yeah, mm-hmm. we love that. I always think that's a good sign if you're surrounded by gay men yeah. or gay women. Honestly, all the gays. Oh yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Any of the any of the letters in the LGBTQ. Yeah, yeah. And I think we're all in there. And if you're not in there, I feel like yeah, mm, sus. Yeah, like mm, are you being honest with yourself? Yeah. Oh, which I kind of a nice segue into straight man news I, okay. we need like a little straight man news. <laughs> yeah. we need a theme song for straight man news straight man news did you see the dylan danis nina agdahl oh. situation yeah we talked I thought about that this, was kind of well we didn't talk about the lawsuit no it's we talked about it pre-lawsuit like right, right when it was happening so okay is this real i always have to like yeah. question because i'm like it's rest was it wrestling or boxing boxing boxing, boxing. so yes. i'm always like is this real is it just to promote a fight that, okay yeah when we first talked about it i was like maybe it's all just like promo for the fight, right? And they were both in it because they yeah. both make money from it. And I'm like, still against it because I was like, okay, don't put your girlfriend in yeah, there or your fiance. Unless she like consents to it or whatever. But yeah. And I was like, maybe to support Logan. And then like looking into it, which delving into straight man news is really dark. Yeah. Um, and then then I actually went to go read the tweets and stuff that Dylan was posting. And I was like, this man is actually like sick. I know. It's, like, he, it's, it's really a lot. dark. I just yeah. see it on my for you page. Like I don't follow him, but I see it pop up all the time. And it's a lot. Like I don't think anybody obviously would consent to this, but clearly not if there's a lawsuit happening but it's so much it's just like why why does like logan continue to do it like i know and i mean like i said they must be making so the fight hasn't even happened yet and i feel like they've been going at Mm. it for like so long but i don't know like what amount of money i I don't think that'd be like if it okay let's say moses the boxer right and i'm like the one getting he's getting all this crap because of me it's like i don't know what amount of money would be worth someone like harassing yeah. me and like degrading me that's and- why i'm so i'm like so happy that so nina yeah. she sued and then she filed for a restraining order and it was granted right? yeah so she did get granted a temporary restraining order so he um can't post about her and no one like in that circle can post about like anyone related to dylan can Has post he about though? him um, I, well, he has to now. Otherwise, he'll, I feel like I keep seeing stuff because he keeps talking about like her I, doing the lawsuit to get him out of the fight, and I, well, he can't post like any of those photos that he was posting of her. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, that's so that's good. At so least, it's real. Yeah. Um, and she is suing for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which oh. I um, deserved. I hope she gets it. Yeah, yeah, it should be more, honestly. <laughs> like seriously, if they're making like ten million dollars from a fight, I'd be like, give me ten million dollars that you're making from boosting this fight because of me. What's kind of like sick though is that one of the videos that um dylan had posted she said that was like in the archives of her snapchat so she alleges or alludes to the fact that someone in his camp or whatever hacked her snapchat to get like one of the videos because oh like gosh. which if that's the case what is that i know sick. it's a crime what's the crime like hacking is that a crime i don't yeah, know is I it think, really yeah why are more hackers caught I think maybe because it, it's hard to it's hard hackers. to get them, but yeah, I mean the, the guy that I think the guy who did that leak. Remember those Jennifer Lawrence like terrible photos? No. Oh my god. Was it, it was, nude? It was news. Yeah, mm. that she was sending to her boyfriend, and <gasps> she press charges. And yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And like, yeah. Then who do you even sue? Do you find these people you or can, what? If you can, a lot of them. I feel like a lot of them get away with it, but sometimes if you like mm. really go, I think Jen. Really I just went. again, once again, like men coming for women like this is so ick. Like there's so many things again with Logan you could totally go for. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, why are you going for? his fiance like especially like this kind of stuff it's so weird i feel so bad for because again like i feel like not comparing myself but kind of comparing myself it's like no matter how strong someone thinks you are or like how much you can put up with it's like it does always hurt like you know i hear fat all the time like and it's like it's just like it just is so numb you just expect it like you look so fat whatever but like it does hurt you know you hear it so many times when you see pictures and like that's why i just don't look but like you see it so many times and like just is annoying you know yeah it like sets a precedent like you can't just fuck with women and like yeah. use them against your tirade against another other guy and then expect to get it completely get away with it like there are repercussions for doing stuff that's like illegal and also just like morally like disgusting yeah you know? a lot of there's like laws coming into place with these kind of things like hacking photos and leaking photos and stuff like that because i feel like in the past you could just leak photos and it was just like well what can you do about yeah. it it's cyber. And then pe- the people will be making getting off or making fun of whoever had their photos leaked like vanessa hudgens poor thing you know oh my god i know that's yeah. a huge deal because she was such a like a disney little sweetheart yeah that was that was it and what was she like 18 it's like yeah everyone had 18 sons new pictures it's like, like yeah you just something you do which is like i mean you shouldn't but well you should blame the hacker not the person I know. yeah it is one of those things where i would tell people like don't send news because i just feel like there's so many people you just can't trust and it yeah. sucks to say that because like you should you shouldn't have to like whatever but it, like i just always think like if you send nudes you should just maybe one day they would surface you know what i just know just have that in the back of your mind because it could like 
ruin your be life. Be prepared for it somehow. Yeah. yeah. Like if you wanted to run for like politics or something, I don't know. Yeah. Like the Dylan Dana situation is also interesting too because there's a video where like Logan, I like, confronted him in per- They were like at a sit down like podcast or interview. Yeah. And Logan like confronted him in person and Dylan was like stuttering. Yeah. Couldn't uh, like utter a sentence coherently. It's always how like, it is. If you are going through all that, you were talking all that smack with your little Twitter fingers. Yes. And when I fingers, sit you down. But- <laughs> And if I sit you down always. and you can't even clap back a little bit, yeah, embarrassing. No, it is. It is so embarrassing. But that's always those kind of people. Like, they're mm. always online, like, perpetually online. Like, I don't care. Like, you're doing this big fight. Like, you know, like, have someone else do this. Like, whatever. I don't know. It's like, it's weird. It, so it just weird. lacks, like, your intelligence. It just lacks so much intelligence if you attack someone's, like, looks or someone's, like, partner, too. Like, it's just, like, so weird. It's like, you have no nothing to go for Logan after. Like, it's there's so th- much stuff, you know, his brother, whatever. Yeah. The fact that I this man has me, like, really rooting for Logan Paul like this and, like, I'm... Um, I know. <laughs> I don't think Logan has been that bad lately either. To have to go to, like, stand up for a straight man the way I have to, like, I'm supporting I Logan know. right now. I you know. have to be really messed up to make me do that. So I, I guess that's what he's like playing into and what he's like oh. feeding off of. But I'm just like, this is why I don't like to get into that world of straight men. Yeah. And then I saw so there was like some practice, practice footage. What do you call that when you're sparring footage? Pa- what? Practice footage. Like you're. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Where he's yeah. like doing the punches. Yeah, and everyone was saying how bad he was. I know. I saw Logan's TikTok about it and I was, I still didn't really get it. He's like, oh my God, is that an uppercut or an upper locker? I'm like, wait, what? Like, I it looks I like just, a punch. I was pretending to <laughs> know. I was like, oh, he's so you're bad. Kind of like at the US Open, you're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> that was me watching that little boxing match. Yeah. And, oh, I am my too. God. Like, wait, what's happening? It's so funny. Yeah. I mean, I might have to freaking, are we going to have to pay per view that freaking boxing Let's match? Pay per view it. What Let's is it? Let's do it. October 14th. Does any of the gestures people care though? I feel like my no. people. Like when <laughs> I, I was, I was, really I'm going over hoodie designs right now, and I was like, you know what? I should have like a black one for like the option. And I was like, I don't think any of your viewers are gonna opt for the black one over the, over pink. the pink. You know what I mean? And it's such a cool design. I can't wait. I don't know if it's gonna come out for Christmas. I really hope so. I mean, it might be like January, which is like the worst time because everyone just like bought Christmas stuff. Maybe they'll but have gift cards. <laughs> yeah, like here, it's gonna come out soon. Buy like gestures. Yeah, we have cute t-shirts coming, but the the hoodies are gonna be everything. And I was just like, yeah, I feel like more gestures people are into. Um, Pink. Pink. <laughs> you guys, my brain, seriously, I double booked makeup artist today. I double booked, oh God, I double booked makeup artist today. And then, you know what I talk about like lying and I lie for no reason I don't need to? Because clearly I know my makeup artist is going to watch my podcast and see my TikToks. Why did I just say I double booked? And I gave him a cancellation fee, you know, because it was like an hour early. I gave him a cancellation fee and I, I just, for, I double booked. My my brain is crazy. And instead of being like, oh, I just double booked, like let me give you a cancellation fee. I thought it was better. And I always do this to like protect someone's feelings like yeah. i don't want him to feel like oh i picked this makeup artist over you because i truly love them both the same i did book the other ones first so i was just like shit why didn't i just say that and now i feel bad because i was like oh they'll probably watch it maybe they won't watch this far in what are we an hour in maybe they won't watch far in but i was like why did i do that i was like but my brain is just i've been double booking people i've been forgetting things i don't know what it is i'm like fingers crossed i'm pregnant this month so i'm like hoping sometimes your body like simulates pregnancy symptoms like you know forgetful brain and stuff so i'm hoping but it's crazy and so like that but i don't even know why i just said that why did i just say that <laughs> where did that start from what i don't know i, I lied you were just this looking morning. for your topic and then you were like i what? think right i think you were looking through your cars there was no what topic did, oh. with that in there oh my god that was so weird wait what did you say before that i am like losing my actual mind wait that's so weird <laughs> Well, speaking of, we could talk about Rihanna's baby name. Oh, yeah. What was it? Riot Rose. Riot Rose. Yeah. I like it. Me too. People, Riots. some people on X last Twitter were making fun of it, but I thought it was kind of cool. X needs to get a life. Some of those people, those people, first of all, they're kind of wild and I like them, but sometimes they're like too much. Yeah. yeah. With the babies and stuff like that. I was like, it's a baby name. Like just, it's cute. It is cute. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Okay. I love it. Riot's cute. Riot would be a cute girl name too. It's cute because... ASAP had a song called Riot, and then I guess his favorite flower is a rose. Oh, which I think is cute. Cute. Riot Rose is really pretty. I love a double letter. An oh, R-R. and the, all of them are R's. Rihanna and, and ASAP's real name is an R name. What's his name? Um, Rakim. And Rihanna's name. real name is Robin. Oh, I can't yeah. Know. Oh, love that. Robin Do Fenty. the fans know that? The Ro- yeah, oh. Robin Fenty. Oh, her last name is Fenty? <laughs> oh, my God. That's so smart. I literally was like, why did you name her things Fenty? Oh, my God. I wonder if, like, Rem is, like, Ariana's real last name. Like, Rem Beauty? <laughs> Ariana Rem. You never know. Or who's Selena? Selena Rare? <gasps> I wonder if Selena Gomez named Rare Beauty because she has that rare disease. Oh, I don't think she named it after lupus. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> 
know. I think it'd be cute to just have something rare about you is special. She had a song called Rare. Oh, was it about her sickness? It was about her, like, after post, uh, post Justin Bieber. Oh. Yeah. Was she sad about it? It was a happy song. It was like, oh. I was, it was like, I'm rare. I'm a, uh, you can't find a girl like me. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of like, you can't find someone like me. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't Taylor Swift have that one too? You'll never find another one. Yeah. Okay. I guess it's a common theme. Yeah. Yeah. I you should have that. a song like that. I feel like I probably have. Somewhere in your discography, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's got to be one. <laughs> I don't know. I want to do so many more songs, man. I want to make a million dollars. Although I said I would never make music videos again because there's so much money. But then a part of me is like, oh, I kind of want to make another you music video. just film them in here. That would be everything. <laughs> Unless someone wants to fund my videos. I said that in the last episode. I said if anyone wants to buy my catalog and then someone literally was like, oh, this is what I do for a living. I just sold someone's catalog for $7 million. I'm like, okay, oh. great. So let me put that out there. If you want to fund my music career, like I'll take $10 million. Mm, We'll take 18 For the catalog? <laughs> yeah. Okay, for the catalog, 18 But I'm just saying give me $10 million to start new music. Oh, yeah. If you want to invest. If you in- want to own my future catalog. <laughs> Oh, maybe $20 million for the future catalog. Yeah, because you don't know. You could have, like, a number one in there. I definitely would, for sure. I have so many good ones. I uh, Everyone thought the um, title of my last video, Too, Fa- Too Fat for Giamanti, should could be, be a, a song. Yeah. yeah. I have, like, a Vogue B. Shout yeah. out to my ex-user who said this. It was, like, Too Fat for Givenchy. I'm sorry, but I love to eat. Too fat. That was my lyrics. Period. I just came up. He just came up with the idea to do a song, but I was like, too fat for Vigian Yeah, I think something. Like that. In my head, I think like Beyonce's like Renaissance, like because her songs are very like Vogue-y. I yeah. think it's something like that. I have a couple Vogue-y songs. I have one called Damn I Look Good that should have been like number one. I never did a music video for it though. Oh my god. Yeah. I would love. Um, uh, maybe um who could guest on it? I don't know. I was gonna say Lizzo, but is she kind of <laughs> yeah. Is she Saucy Santana? Who's that? <laughs> Is she thick? They're okay. a rapper. Yeah, okay, but they're thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I that's like, love. yeah. They go live with Terry Joe a lot as well. No way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen yeah. them, yes. I also have gotten Lotto a lot. A lot of people are like, you look like Lotto. Oh, yeah. I love that. Maybe Nikki, after she's on the podcast, will want to. Oh, <laughs> that's my Drake moment. That's bigger than Drake, honestly. 100%, yeah. She's bigger than Drake, right? For what we care about, bigger than Drake, 100%. Because he was like wanting to be with her and like thirsting for her. And she's like, yeah. no, I got Because he's like, you got a man. I remember one song. I only know one Drake song. He's like, oh, Nikki, she got a man. And then, and then, <laughs> right? Is that a song? I think it sounds like something he was saying. He always talks yeah. about a girl being big. He's like, I want her to sit, <laughs> it's like, sit her on my face. Oh, what she eat her out? Call it. Maybe I have to censor that. I don't know. Watch him whine and die. I don't know. Do you know that fat girl song he sings? I think Drake likes fat girls. Tana said he, she never got flown out by Drake, so maybe she was just too skinny. Too skinny. I think he does. Cause there is a song where he talks about like eating chicken and then like you know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyone know this song? I mean, there's an article that says... He likes fat girls? Five times Drake proved he likes thick women. Oh, what? <laughs> really? There's okay. articles about is that. Is that song on there? I'm going to be so... Oh, is there more? Is and that what it's called? My Girl Got a Fat Ass Drake Lyrics. He's definitely... I mean, lots of stuff coming up about it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not that important. Someone could just finish the lyric for me and the thing. But you guys know, there's like a song where he's like, oh, I love the fatties. <laughs> Speaking of Taylor Swift, did you hear the new Taylor Swift song? What? The one that's like, like Taylor Swift. Oh, I'm not going to yeah. say anything bad about it because she's a little girl. First, yeah. first of all, I think it's good. I think it's, it's cute. cute. Yeah. But did you see, like, Cole posted on, I don't know if this was real. This was on X. Maybe this is not real. The, t- the, the story. DM. You yeah. That, like, Taylor DM'd him? I don't, do you really trust Cole? But did he actually post it? Like, a, a fake screenshot? Because obviously it's not Taylor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he did post it. He did post yeah. it. You saw it? Yeah. Because then I went to go look and I'm like, oh, no. I thought he posted the story. I saw it with, like, his, his the name screenshot. and stuff yeah. like that. Why? Because, like, she's, look, here's the thing. Like, I think if you're hitting on a little girl, you're, like, weird and need help. Because, like, everybody at age, whatever she is, 10, like, would be doing that, too. Oh, yeah. 100%. And, like, I don't even really... <sighs> I know they're like kind of controversial because they do film their kids all the time. And I think that is kind of weird when you film your kids all the time. But I know when I was 10, I wanted to be like a singer. I don't know how she is. Is she 10 or 12? I don't know. I she was 11. Okay. But in the I middle there. <laughs> but it's like I wanted to be a singer so bad. So like I I like get it. They're trying to make her dreams come true and stuff like that. And like I love now that TikTok's kind of like flipping and be like, no, this song's a bop. This is a little kid. Like, you know, it's like this. But then people were saying like Taylor Swift is like does not like when people use her songs or like her name. Yeah. Yeah. But she did Tim McGraw. Yeah. So is this like this little, is this Everly's Tim McGraw? <laughs> you know what I mean? And she got to tour with Tim McGraw. So maybe Everly's going to go on tour with Taylor Swift. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts on it? Um, or you have none? I think it's cute for like a little girl to do that. I went like yeah. the Cole relation. I'm like, ugh. But I know. Yeah. So I kind of have to like disassociate the two in my head, I think. You know? That's the, that is 
tricky. That's the problem. That's why it's like I'm very hesitant to put my daughter on the internet too much because I don't want her to necessarily – like, be associated with me unless she wants to. But I feel like, I don't know, I'd rather her, like, flourish on her own. Yeah. Even though her name's Malibu Barbie. But, like, I feel, I don't know. It's such a tough one for me. Because I know as a kid, I would have loved that. I would have loved to have done a music video and, like, do my favorite song about someone. It's a tough one. But I, I like the idea. I like that it went viral. Yeah, I think the idea is cute. The, like, like a dear John. Uh, like, like mm-hmm. as itself, I think it's cute. Yeah. Like, if I just, like, separate everything else. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it just, it makes no sense to hate on, like, little kids who are, like, just having fun. Yeah. And, you know, I Jojo think it's- did a cute TikTok about it. She goes, this was like me when I was 10. Like I, yeah. people came from, and it's true. And I feel like it does affect you to some way, no matter how much your parents shield you, like you do grow up. It is, it's such a thing I go back and forth with. Cause I like, and I like the idea, like of, I wish I was a child star, but like, yeah, I bet it does like affect you somehow, some yeah. way. We need Jojo Siwa on the podcast. I need to know about a child star firsthand. That would actually be a good idea. Who seems to, to still to be doing it and it. enjoying yeah. it. Cause I don't, I don't know. I know she was. Just, I don't think it's out yet. But I think she was just on canceled. So yeah, I don't think it's out yet either. I, th- I think next week, maybe. I mean, you know, I love that but, she went on it. Like you know what I mean? Because it's like she was so. She kind of. She speaking of degaf war. She is a degaf warrior. Yeah, 100%. she's like I'm yeah. just rebranding as me. Yeah, as Jojo. Is she still Jojo? Is that her actual name? I think no. Her real name is Joelle Joni Seawall. How do you know all this? <laughs> You know, you literally know everything. Oh my God, how did you know that? You know everything except for the Drake Fat song. I know. Well, that's like borderline straight news. Okay, so, right, yeah, right, that's right, where yeah, you yeah. lose me. Yeah. I just, anytime a guy would ever talk about like liking someone fat, I'd be like, oh, I love them. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, I always them. slid into Drake's DMs like when I was younger and my old Instagram. Thank God I don't have my old Instagram anymore because I DM so many random yeah. people. I probably DM'd him so many times. Literally never looked. Actually, you know what? I think one time he did see him and, and left never you on responded. Red. Okay, T. Awkward. Okay, T, yeah. yeah. That's super embarrassing because I feel like he <laughs> flies out everybody. <laughs> I feel like he literally is just with every single person. Not Yikes. Tana, though, so you're in good Wait, company. Wait, when was this story? I missed the Drake story. Drake What's and Tana. Was she on my on You my asked podcast? her about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I... I think it was on bit... cancel. It was when you were on cancel. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you asked like, no. her and Brooke, oh, okay. and they both I said no. I love that you watched it. I love that you watched my stuff. Too. I think and that's I so cool. <laughs> no, that's the best. You are on top of it. I don't know if it's just you doing your job or you're just excited Maybe to a watch. A little bit of both. Yeah. I love that. I think that's so cool. I love. Like, that's why I love doing interviews. Like I love watching everyone's like interviews and content. Like I love getting to know someone. All right, switching. Going to Dance Mom. Like I love that Dance Moms is still in the news. Like it's been I off like ten know. years, and somehow it's like whether it's the girls. Or Abby herself. Somehow. Abby's just like milking it. Although I will too. I will talk about everything for the rest of my life. Okay. I Again, it's like one of those things that like it's hard to figure out where I stand because I think she is funny at times, but she's also like problematic. And the stuff that she said that came out today that she said was just like so problematic that I'm like, Abby, what is going oh, on? Oh. Oh my god, I just saw this. Yeah, this this is, was breaking like today. Today, yeah, we finally have fresh. a hot topic. This was wild. <laughs> Sophia with an F, by the way, getting like all these exclusives from people, like when she had Aubrey O'Day, like talking, spilling all the tea about her, like affairs. Like, okay, Sophia with an F, like everyone kind of like came for her because she like missed out on call her daddy money, which I mean, it is kind of like sad or whatever. Remember, was it Aubrey O'Day that like clocked her and was like, wow, I guess you don't like money, you missed $60 million. Was on it this her? Sweater. Yeah, I think oh it was. My god. I know it was actually because I was watching it and I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> Sophia with an F, and she was like, yeah, I've been on Raya. And then Aubrey O'Day is like, I'm more famous than you. And I'm not on Raya. I was like, oh my god. God. So if you have with an app handling it, handling all of it with the champ, like that is that is the worst. Like if you were part of such a successful podcast and that person goes on and makes so much, I mean, like in the long run, she maybe she's making more, maybe she's happier, whatever. I don't know, you know. But I think it's, uh, I think that is like awful. Like people know you as that, and then like you see one person skyrocket, and you're just yeah, like, yeah, she has. Especially her merch, the Unwell merch, allegedly, like, so- Sophia started that saying, Unwell. She had said, like, you know, I called into work and my email was simply, I am unwell today. And she was the first person to ever say it. And I'm like, now Alex is making all that unwell money. Oh, my God. Which, by the way, is not – oh, because she has an Unwell network now, of a, a new podcast with, like, Alex Earl and all this stuff. So it's a whole Unwell podcast thing. And I was like, that's a little shady. I would be – It's not a great name, first of all. It's not no. good merch. Like, why are you going to wear something that says unwell? Unless you're actually unwell. And I don't think those girls are mentally ill from what I know. So I think that's literally – your What is it called? Your um, – Appropriating. Yes. Yeah, okay. Poser appropriating my my mental illness. Only mentally ill people should wear unwell merch. But I do live for her. I love that she got these guests. I love that she got Abby Lee Miller. Yeah. 
So when Abby was on uh, Sophia with an F, she they were talking about um, Tom Cruise. It's just so weird how it came up because Sophia was basically saying how she um, was at a movie premiere of Tom Cruise. About Tom Cruise is how it started. In this movie, yeah. I didn't know where this conversation came from. I kind of It was heard so just... random. Yeah, because I went to the time. Cr- the <laughs> Sophia was on it with the timestamp, so I, I went all the way. need to do that. I know you're doing so much already, but <laughs> I do. I usually I do them like later in the day. You do? I go back and add them. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> love that. Funny. Thank you. You're so good. I know we need to have like three of you because I feel like you are doing like so, so much work and I need we're, more. We're I want more. But you we're are We're still only like a small bit. I know. <laughs> we're still small. I love- we're the unwell network. <laughs> we're the actually unwell network. Yeah, so she so she was talking about Tom Cruise. She was talking. Yeah, First she was, all, what the, what does the cake have to do with it? For some reason, Abby knew that Tom Cruise loves this particular cake. It's a white chocolate <laughs> coconut bun cake yeah. from Doan's Bakery. Okay, he would like that. And Honestly, we're all looking at Scientology with a side eye now. We're all like, yeah. And I, I've heard Tom Cruise stories too, allegedly. Uh, yeah. Although, can I tell you, I was so jealous of Katie Holmes. I wanted to be here really? so bad. When they were doing that tour of like him on the couch for Oprah and bringing her out, I would have given anything to be like pushed out by Tom Cruise being like, I love this woman so much. Like how how validating is that? Like I wanted to be her so bad. I would love to have her on the podcast. Like girl, what or At happened? least Suri. I would love Suri Cruise yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, no, all the kids are the icons now. Yeah. I love it. Oh, so Suri great. Fierce. All the right moves, Abby said, um, was one of her favorite movies and she wanted Sophia to watch it. And she said, oh, that's my downfall. I like the high school football players. I still like them. And then Sophia tried to like course correct and be like, oh, yeah, like the coaches. Oh, yeah. She's like, I like the coaches. (laughs) Yeah. And she's like, no, I'm not talking about the ones that used to be in high school. I'm talking about the ones that are in high school now. Yeah. Dead serious. Did she take it back? Because I I saw it cut off there. What did she say after? They just wrapped up the podcast. That was at the end of it? Yeah, it was the end of the podcast. Yeah, it was like the last. And then right after that, she promoted her new show. I don't like, okay, again, I'm not about cancel culture, but I don't like when, like, problematic people keep getting shows because I consider people who are problematic if you, like, hurt other people. Like, if you've done something to, like, hurt other people, and especially children. And I feel like enough children have said they've been traumatized by Abby. Like, this is, like, you know, it's not just a teacher thing. Like, they were actually traumatized by this show and by her. And she does it on... I don't care if it's, like, for a show. Like, there's kids involved. So even if these kids are acting with her, they're not. They're children. Like, that are, like, pretending it's a reality and getting yelled at and getting mocked and made fun of. And the way she talks about people's haircuts and, like, their bodies and calling people too tall, grasshopper, gang, all this stuff like that. And I was just like, to me, that should be, if you call it canceled, canceled, but just, like, never given a platform again. Because you're, like, literally, like, making fun of children for entertainment. Like, Like, how is that entertaining how she keep getting a platform and then like saying stuff like this i mean it's not even cute or funny it's not a long time ago like you're still being problematic you're still doing this like i don't know it's so weird to me and it's just like these children have come out saying like they did feel some type of way maybe not jojo and maybe not yet you know i feel like sometimes people 30 years when she's dead or something people will say it because that's when they feel comfortable you know Mm, yeah it's just like so weird how she gets a platform because i'll just go out and say it like I, i i did watch it but it was like so disturbing i had to like stop watching it at a certain point i was like this is so disturbing it's like not entertaining and the people finding entertainment out of this is like why like these kids are like crying and stuff like again it's like the thumbnails even if you make a child cry just for the thumbnail like that's still like you're traumatizing your child for no reason Mm -hmm. so why are people giving her a platform why did she get a tv show very few people i'd say that for but like if you like hurt someone else or hurt minors like that's it that's true it is i guess the complication and it just is is because maybe Jojo has like spoken highly about Abby and like that experience, but I don't know. Jojo also is pretty positive in general. I think like I feel like Jojo is kind of positive about uh, like a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, so I don't so, know. I don't know. And but I also think there is like Holly too spoken out really positively about Hef for a long time, and then true. you realize like the trauma and like you're in this syndrome where you're brainwashing. You just thought it was okay. Me too. I feel there's so many instances where you're just like, oh, I thought it was okay. I thought this was good. And then you like realize when you get older, like maybe there was some trauma. And regardless, like I'm not trying to say like Jojo, Jojo specifically, but you're like crying on national TV. You're being cried. Mm. You're maybe made cried by an adult that's not your parent. Like there is there's there's just trauma there. There's that's just, true. You know, and it's, it's like you've said it before too and it's like the content is embarrassing kids like if that's the point of the content then that shouldn't be allowed which i, I think is a really good point because it, whether it's like on tiktok where that or the family vloggers or t- tv yeah 
I think if that's the whole premise of a show, that shouldn't be a show. You're right. It's about not that. like healthy competition either. It's not like, oh, you know, you're on top of the pyramid, it's cute or whatever. It's like she would just like berate these people to help people to leave the room. Like just like really awful things. And again, make talking about their bodies and stuff when they're like yeah, children. Yeah, you're right about that. So I, I just don't understand why she's still around. I think that's like obviously disgusting. And again, this is 2023. You know, not what, you know, like that's not, not to say it was ever okay, but you know, there was a time where people like made jokes about it or whatever. But it's like, this is like 23. You're like old. You're like, abusive to children on tv this is your job like it's not cute like i don't know i i don't know she could have had like a redemption arc or something where she's like you know i got cancer i got sick i went to prison i like you know realized like this was bad but now she's just like doubling down and doing another show but also like who's giving her this show like i'm sorry it's a, like, for real for real i think it's like a. it's called madhouse and it's on brandon tv which never heard of it yeah exactly okay. and, <laughs> like what but the contestants on this are 18 to 23 so they're at least adults it's just annoying that she gets like like these people get shows because again it's like there's people you don't like there's people who are problematic or whatever but it's like i don't know when you're with children like that it's like ew and she recently just said like you know yeah she did get special treatment like maddie would come in while she was supposed to be at school and get secret lessons and learn the dances before the other dancers and the other mom i think it was chloe's mom was like this is what i've been saying and Mm. no one said anything so all these little girls thought they were all like competing fairly meanwhile Abby just admitted, yeah, Maddie came in and got special treatment. Like, her mom would bring her in and stuff like that. I'm like, so uh, that's another form of abuse. You're, like, thinking all these kids have equal opportunity. Like, why am I not good as good as Maddie? And you're just saying, well, you're just not. Just, like, work harder. Meanwhile, giving her private lessons. And she just admitted this, like, as if it was nothing. If it was just, like, mm, oh, well, like, that's what it is. It's, like, that's so traumatizing for all those girls. And I don't know where any of those girls are now. Except, of course, like, JoJo. But... It's so weird. And of course, Maddie and all those people are going to talk highly of her, including JoJo, because they have a career and you feel some sort of attachment and stuff like that. And I'm not saying they don't, they should talk bad about her, but it's like, yeah, you have this like, almost like a trauma bond, like half with Holly, you know, yeah. and her Holly with half, you know, she felt like she had to say, stay in good graces with him. And, or she really did think he was a sweet old man until she like realized like, oh my God, this was like effed mm, up. I, that kind of like, I think like Maddie has been kind of like, maybe on the same path as like, um, Holly almost, because when she came out of it, I think she talked about a lot of like the darkness that came from filming dance moms and stuff oh she too. did that's surprising I know, yeah i know maddie has been pretty outspoken about it wow. i think out of all of them she's maybe been the most outspoken that's the best um, and that's the best because she was so favored yeah it's interesting because i've never watched the only reason i know dance moms is via the meme so mm-hmm. like when i see the abby memes i'm like oh that's so like silly you know yeah. like so unserious but of then course. yeah i guess like the experience of like actually like watching the show and seeing like yeah you know people like little girls be like so emotionally like just manipulated and hurt you know yeah there's like an energy I just always got from her like even watching that clip is just like this bad energy and you do think sometimes when people get sick and stuff you know they always say like it you know that changes someone right you see a light you see something there's some difference and yeah it doesn't make up for what you did but it's like how is she not seeing the light how is she not seeing that like almost being remorseful but now you're just talking about I don't know or also just that just talking about liking high school boys and like what yeah it's weird and that's another thing too I'm like maybe I was hoping it was like maybe she like misspoke but then to like double down on it was really weird when she like went to clarify mm, I don't like and that said at all. that I still like them. It was like it's dark energy. Just very uncomfy. Yeah. Very uncomfy that very whole. Uncomfy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. And I just I keep seeing this like resurgence and then people like that getting shows and stuff like that. I just feel like very very few people I'd say that about. Like very few people I think are like, you know, just the worst people ever. But I think anything with children, you're just like, ew, you're weird. Jimmy <laughs> Fallon never liked. That's always been my flex. Uh, he's so he's always been so fake when he interviews guests like he's so fake when he like gets up out of his chair and stuff like that oh, yeah that are just like laughing like wait what oh. <laughs> <laughs> like he's just he's so fake i loved jay leno i loved conan o'brien they were so good even craig kilborn do you remember him no oh my god iconic he was like a cbs after david letterman Jimmy Allen's always been unfunny and he's just like never, never into what anyone's saying. And it's like, that's what you know. It's like a fake talk show. That's why I need my own talk show. Cause like, I love guests and that's why I liked Wendy too. But like Jimmy Fallon's never into it. He's never like there. Now he's a bad boss and I could tell, I could tell, you could just tell. And now there's like current people in his work environment saying that he's a bad boss. So I was just like, this is when you know it's like real. When someone's like currently working there, I'm saying cancel Jimmy Fallon and bring back Lily Singh. <laughs> I'd watch it. I didn't watch it. I, I think I was one of those haters on Lily Singh. I didn't even watch it. Maybe she was better than Jimmy Fallon. Or me. I would still love to do late night too. Oh, that's I, I was gonna could... say you're so late. I I picture you daytime, but you know what? Maybe I, mean, I could get like a late night vision too. I, I mean, don't know, men maybe... kind of have late night. Yeah. Which is annoying. And why is there anyways, that's a whole other thing. Why are they all men? Chelsea was like really the only one that was like hanging on for the women, right? Oh, yeah. When it came to late night. Right? Oh my god, where'd Chelsea go? I think she wrote a book or did a podcast. She did book or a podcast recently. Probably both. both I feel both. like everyone yeah. does <laughs> yeah, podcasts podcast. now. <laughs> Conan does podcasts. I think Jay yeah. Leno does podcasts. Everyone does All podcasts. All the late night hosts are doing podcasts now because of the um, strike. Oh. Yeah. Oh, right. There's like a th- all of the, like, they're all doing it together. Jimmy, Jimmy. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Anyways. 
Jimmy Fallon's canceled. You heard it here first. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon canceled. Did you watch the new Elvis movie? With um Jacob Elordi? Yeah. No, it's not out. Oh. It, it just did the <laughs> It did ratings. a festival. It did a festival screening. And people weren't uh, out about it. Um, I think it got. I don't. Should I see what it has on Rotten Tomatoes? I thought it did well. uh, decent. Yeah. Um, I'm a Sofia Coppola fan. I don't really like Jacob Elordi. I only saw two episodes of Before and I was not about it. Oh my god, it has a 94. But although it. there was an a, there was like an expose recently that um said that there's like payola for Rotten Tomatoes to like boost or lower scores. What's payola? Like people they're being paid to um for reviewers who are sort of like you can actually you have to be like approved by Rotten Tomatoes to have a score that affects it. Um, and so there was like an expose lately recently that said people are being paid to go one way or the other to affect the score. Oh no way! Yeah. So oh. can we really trust Rotten Tomatoes yeah. now? I don't know. It's so corrupt. Are you gonna watch it? I'm not really like a drama person in the oh, first place you don't like biopics i know oh i love a biopic even if i don't know the person i love watching like someone's story i'm trying to think if i've seen one i would see like a trish biopic oh, i love it jennifer, oh my god i would see jennifer lawrence as you no i mean no offense <laughs> i love jennifer lawrence definitely not her i i want to say like um i don't know kimberly law you want <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean we're kind of the same age now like who's like a young i don't even know wait i'd like plug an unknown and like that would be spice. their <laughs> I would love if she did. That'd be so fun. Yeah, not known. Maybe they haven't even been born yet. You know, like J Lo with Selena. Yeah. I would love. I love a biopic movie. You don't? Did you not watch the Elvis one? No. Oh my no, god, that was like the I biggest couldn't. one ever. It was, isn't it long? It's long. It's so it's good like, though. I don't know. Oh man, you're missing out. I would out. watch Elvis if you watched the Eros tour movie. Well, I think I'm already going to. So you're gonna have to start watching Elvis. Okay. We'll have a quiz. It'd be so long, <laughs> so boring. Nobody would care. <laughs> Woo. Got my refund on the Jamachi shoes and I overnighted Tiffany glasses. This is my cosplay for the next episode. Maybe I'll wear. Oh my God, these are so small. I forget Ariana is so small. Her Wimbledon hat was a child's hat and I ordered it and I was like, oh my God, I'm literally gonna have to like safety pin it to the back of my head. Like I have to cut it and like safety pin it because it's so tiny. And then these look so huge on her, but I was like, wow, these look so tiny. Oh my gosh. I thought these were like ginormous. Let's see. Do I look like Ariana? Those are cute. What do you think? I love them. Do they look like Ariana? Oh yeah, and you that hat, that hat was child size. It was child. Oh. It only had a child. It didn't have an adult one. So oh I had to my buy god! It. I yeah, know. it looks humongous on her. It looks like I it doesn't know. fit. She's probably so tiny. She has to be. I want to see her on these chairs. That's what I gotta get her. <laughs> Let's go. What? Why is that the funniest of all the people I bring up? That's... No, just the thought of the tiny Ariana. Oh, oh, okay, on these yeah, but that was the most ridiculous one. I'm like, I'm talking about Britney Spears, no. Elon Musk. I see the vision. I'm just imagining that like Ari on that. Oh my god. She'd be so little. You could just... fit like four of her on there, probably. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god! Oh my, wait, I don't feel like we're supposed to talk about weight, right? Are we gonna get no, canceled? No, I think she's just like stature. I'm not even talking oh, weight. Okay, okay, yeah. just tiny, just petite, just tiny. But I know you're not supposed to talk about guys' height. Guys get triggered if you talk about height, and I don't know. It's a whole thing now. Maybe, I guess if short people just short, short people, men, short, yeah, I yeah. kind of just accept it. Yeah, I do short. see the vision. I see definitely see the vision now. Yeah. Of, but how are you gonna make that pink? I guess is that a spoiler? Yeah, I have a pink turtleneck. <laughs> But I have everything else the same. Okay. I know. I was going to do the pink glasses, but I like the green because it reminds me of the Emerald City in Wicked. You haven't seen the show, but they have a whole little scene where they go, one short day, and they have the Emerald City glasses, and that's what it reminded me of. So I was like, I'm going to oh get god, those. I'm, I'm excited to see this. She actually looks really – I'm like looking at more photos now. She did look really fierce in there. Stay tuned. Next yeah. week, another Ariana cosplay. <laughs> then we'll probably do – well, there'll be another one. And then there'll be one more week of September, and then October will start. And I think my first one back for Halloween, the first one when we do Halloween set, so I'll do Ice Spice. Maybe. I'm excited for that. Which I mean, I could just do Ice Spice anyways, but I think it's more like, I don't know. I might as well make an event out of it. Only because I've been ordering that medallion and it's taking like six weeks to get. Like it takes so long to get. I had to find someone on Etsy who would even do it, who even knew what it was. Like I'm like, what's on that? Like it was so hard. They, they figured it out. I have no idea. If anyone knows what's on Ice Spice's chain, let me know. Because I was looking for the weekend mask, the silver one he wears. And I guess it's like some character, like a oh, mega doom or I don't know. Oh. I found a bunch of them on Etsy. They're like, oh, it's this character. And I was like, okay. Do you have any desire to be an actor? No, never. Maybe when I was little, again, mm -hmm. like the, I guess, like the child star thing. It seemed fun, right? When, when you're little, but, but now, now, like, if someone's no. like, would you be? It's like, could you be in this movie? You'd say no. It, if, it depends on what the movie was. Like, if it was like, if it was with you, I would do it because I'd be funny. Really? It would have to what be, like, would we do? It would, A I, Just Trish movie. <laughs> The biopic. Oh my god, we play ourselves. <laughs> Which Jennifer Brina did no, not Jennifer. Oh, you'd be with Jennifer Lawrence. Could be Taylor Swift and you could be acting. She Jen, Jay, Taylor, Taylor Swift would be you? play me, and you could play with her. That'd be fierce. That'd you be could be yourself. That. Okay, yeah. Who I'm would you want to play you? 
Mm, I really, I would say Logan Lerman because who I think is he's Logan really Lerman? <laughs> you, you have the most random people. Who's Logan Lerman? I love him. He was in Percy Jackson. Does Do he remember? look like you? No. Okay. Well, he's he same color hair. I thought something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, everyone looks like you, Jack Atten. <laughs> Jack Atten, enough complaints. Elliot Grange, <laughs> you have that vibe going. You are the vibe. Mm, I'm just thinking about like lasagna tonight. What do you think? Mm, so good, right? Because you remind me of Garfield right now with the orange. And I'm just like, mm, lasagna looks so good. Mm, sorry. I got so hungry. I had a <laughs> rolled chicken taco from Taco Bell. And it wasn't very good. It was like one. And it wasn't very good. That's all you had today? I had a couple nuggets. But I didn't want to eat too much because I didn't want to feel yeah. bloated. But I do feel a little hungry. And I've also been drinking so much water. So I also feel like I have to pee. That's, uh, yeah. I pee, but I have my shoes. I don't want to take my shoes off. All right, guys. So I had to get a little snack. Sorry for the lasagna note, by the way. I literally was just like, I don't know where that came from. I hate when guests do that. They just change the subject when someone's talking. Like, literally hate that so much. So I was just so hungry. So I got a little snack. We had a little pee break. Everything is great. You are getting two for the price of one today in Hot Topics. You are also getting a very special guest. One of my favorite viral TikToks of the past week. Because I had to do all about me. <laughs> it was a 10-minute, whoa, 10-minute TikTok uh, about uh, this wonderful person who wanted to raise money for my Givenchy boots. I know you guys have been all waiting this episode for the Givenchy recap. And here he is, Mr. Matthew Stevens. Hi. Oh my gosh, how are you? I should have taken my shoes off. People are like, I'm so tall. I have like the tallest shoes on and I never wear heels. No, I've actually seen you once in person before and I know you're like very short. Oh my god, wait, so, have a seat, have a seat. Oh my so, gosh, yeah. So, oh, yes. we were at, or I was at um, a Halloween party. Uh huh. Oh, which one? GT Dave. Do you know who that oh was? Oh my god, the vampire one? <laughs> of course yes. you are. The oh gay my god. One. Oh, I and love it. Was, it. It was so funny because I had like just finished working for Mariah at that time. Oh my god. I think. And um, I was like, oh my god, Trisha Paytas <gasps> is here. Wait, and my what? friend was like, go talk to her. Oh my god. Like, you work for fucking Mariah Carey. What's wrong with you? Yeah. I was like, no, <laughs> you don't understand. It's not the same. I get you. Yeah, it's very Mariah Carey and me. Oh my gosh. Did you say hi? Did we talk? No. Oh, I was too afraid. Me. No way. And <laughs> yes. at that party, I felt so uncomfortable because I was also like, I was like, I was someone's plus one. I was someone's like plus five. I was just like with somebody. So Jeremy. I felt, Jeremy, do you know him? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Jeremy? <laughs> but Jeremy knows everybody. Yes. He is that one that knows everybody. Wait, do yeah. you, but do you live here? Are you from here? I lived here for 15 years and then um in I guess it was the weekend after Thanksgiving, I moved to Denver because I like met a guy and it didn't work out. So and I don't you know. You stayed what, in Denver. I stayed. Why? <laughs> My family lives in Denver. Well, it's near Denver. And I'm like, I don't know. It's just hard to breathe up there. What is it? Oh, oh I, I don't have breathe. a difficult time breathing, oh. but I think. <laughs> I am a very difficult guy. I can't. I literally grasp for air when I'm up there. And that's so crazy. Do you? Yeah, it's really beautiful. But like, especially after being here and like connecting with my friends and not having that relationship anymore, I am sort of like, what am I doing? Yeah. Everyone canceled lives outside of LA, right? Yeah. LA is kind of honestly <laughs> a flop now. It's like, it's a good scene. Are you single? Yeah. <laughs> but LA's not good for single people so either. Sad. Yeah. Um, no, no, it's not sad. It's just like so hard to find someone here in LA. I know. And all my gay friends all say the same thing. Like, everyone just wants to hook up and stuff like that. But I'm like, but you all want serious relationships. Why can't everyone find a serious relationship? I, know. I think a lot of gay people just have trauma. I can say that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, do they? <laughs> Ask her. They <laughs> yeah. You're like, uh, what's wait. your trauma? Should we get into it? Or my is it trauma? Too, so deep? Uh, just, you know, abandonment. Yes. My dad kicked me out when I was 17. Yeah, which I didn't know. Do you, yeah. share, do you talk about this online? Because you shared it with me on the DMs. Mm-hmm. Right enough, so you yeah. have talked about it. Yeah, he kicked me out when I was 17. Tried to admit me to a mental hospital for was, being gay. Was he like super <laughs> religious or something? Yeah, but you know what was really weird mm. was a, he was born and raised Jewish, but he converted to Christianity. Oh. So weird. So he has probably issues too. <laughs> yeah. He's got some trauma. Wow. Yeah. So what's his reasoning behind it? He's like, you have to leave because what? He thought you like you were inflicted with the devil or what? Um. So he he actually like walked in on me in like a situation mm-hmm. and he... Which is like normal for teenagers. Is it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So he wound up driving me to the hospital that night and was just like... Like a, like a medical hospital or yeah, like a mental like a hospital? Yeah, like a mental hospital and tried to oh, have mental. them... mental. Yeah, he tried to have them admit me. And they were like, no. <laughs> so what happened? He, where did he leave you? Um, He wound up leaving me like on the side of the road outside of a friend's apartment. And I stayed there for the night. And then I wound up finishing out my 
senior year at my grandmother's house. Oh my god! Yeah, it was kind of dark. That is. Have you talked to your dad since? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you guys cool now? No. <laughs> it's hard. It's so hard. I mean, that's like really. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've had daddy issues, but that's that's pretty intense. Yeah, we talk on like my birthday, his birthday, and Father's Day, but then this year I just turned to like only texting because I was like, "What's the? Po- Why am I faking it?" Yeah, you just don't feel it. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, that's hard. What about your mom? What was she saying through all this? She's cool. She's okay. great. She loves it, as <laughs> yeah. moms would be. Yeah. Oh my God, that's, but is he cool now? Is he just like, okay, whatever, I made a mistake? Or? He says that it ha- he like is in denial about like what actually yeah. happened and has his own version of the story. Mm-hmm. He just says I was like so promiscuous or whatever. Oh I'm like, gosh. dude, you have no fucking idea. Ugh. Where'd you grow up? Maryland. Oh, interesting. So is a conservative back there? It's kind of mixed. Yeah. But at the time, definitely. I definitely grew up in more of like a farm town vibe. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Wait, are we the same age or are you younger? Are you in the 80s or 90s? I'm a little bit older. I'm 87. Oh, no, like November. you're like a year yeah. older. Yeah. Not we're the even. same age right now, though. Oh, yeah. love it. 35 Club. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always say to him, too. I'm always like, okay, we're like in the same bracket yeah. now. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. so, yeah, that era, I feel like we always talk about this, too. It's like the gayness just wasn't as cool as it is now. Like, mm-hmm. I think being gay is, like, so cool now, right? People, like, love it. <laughs> and I feel like back then, it just, like, wasn't as much. <laughs> I wish it was. Yeah. That would have been so much better. It was but... definitely not cool then. I feel yeah. like we're the last, like, generation where it was, like, people really struggled. And now it's, like, I shouldn't say that. But, like, now it's a lot more accepted yeah, than it was. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, I think like yeah, socially acceptable more yeah. so now. It's for sure. We have so much to talk about. We have to talk about the viral TikTok. So, okay. so you don't do TikTok full time. You do it mostly to promote your business. I do it like a little bit of both Just because I feel like people care more about even my product line if they feel like they have like a personal relationship totally with you. You know no I, mean? I was shocked to see like how innovative this line was first of all i love tanning products I how did that. you did you come up with this or do you have like a scientist friend that helped you <laughs> you know like who comes a up li- with the a concoctions? little a little bit of both okay so you gotta like get a chemist no yeah definitely a chemist okay. so i have a lab that's actually in nashville um i came up with the concept just over my 15 years living here working in the beauty industry i've worked in the tanning industry basically since i was like 17 years old were you spray tanning before. people a little bit, okay. yeah. Um, I was doing like a lot of sales, store manager, like stuff like that. I love that. Yeah. At a and, tanning salon? Yeah. Okay. And so then when I moved to LA, I was like, I'm not going to work at another tanning salon anymore. Like, I'm getting too old. I can't be that girl. And then I was like, I'm only going to work at a tanning salon in LA if it's the one that Paris Hilton goes to. So I worked there for years. <laughs> Paris was a regular client. She was so sweet, so cool. She would like invite us all to her Halloween parties each oh year. Gosh. Like she was amazing. Yeah, I never met her, but I heard that. Um, she won her podcast. You think? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, girl, I used to spray tan you. <laughs> That'd be iconic. She was so sweet. But yeah, so um, I just saw through that and working for Mariah Carey and traveling the world and getting to work with like all the best makeup artists that celebrities were having custom tans mixed specifically for them mm-hmm. based off their eye color, hair color, skin tone. So it looks the most natural as opposed to like if you go into CVS or whatever, Sephora, there's yeah. different brands, but there's not necessarily different colors. That's why so many people are walking around like looking orange. Because it's like the way your body oxidizes it, right? Totally, and everybody's yeah. different. Did you use them today? Um, Not today. I put it on like three days ago, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it stays on and it doesn't go dry. Because the thing with my spray tans, I always would go dry. So that's yeah. why I was like, I'd like to have like moisture. Does it lock it in at you all? You mean or? like crackly? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of crackly now, but it used to be a lot worse with spray tans. Yeah, you just have yeah. to like stay moisturized, basically. Ugh, I hate moisturizing. I know. <laughs> do you have to do it for your tanning line? Well, I mean, you should do it anyway. Uh, <laughs> I can't. I hate being oily and greasy. I, I mean, hate but it. it definitely helps it last longer. It lasts about seven to ten days, but if you moisturize every day, yeah. And what's it smell like? Coconut. It smells oh, it smells bad. good? Yeah. It usually smells like pennies or something. No, it smells like coconut. Okay, so yeah. you did this tanning thing, and you mm-hmm. just say just now that you were Mariah Carey's assistant. Yeah. For how many years? Two. How? How did you get that? So I was working at the salon, and I was like 28 or 29, and I was like, I was getting ready to turn 30, and I was like, oh my god, is this just going to be my life forever? Like mm-hmm. I'm, I had been there for like four or five years. I was like, I have to get out of here. And I quit just like randomly. And I had met so many people through that job. And there were so many like powerful women who, yeah. who would come in as regular clients. And they would always ask me like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Like, how can I help you? Like oh, it really wow. was that. Um, so I quit. And then um, one of the girls told Mariah Carey's manager at the time that I quit, and sh- her manager reached out to me that night and was like, Mariah needs an assistant. Do you want to meet with her? And what? It wasn't all that cut and dry. Obviously, I had to, like, jump through hoops and do the whole, like, oh, okay. cancel, reschedule, waiting for hours, the normal. Was it everything? <laughs> yeah. Like, what would you rate out of 10? <laughs> out of 10? Yeah. Like, her or the job? <laughs> all around. Her and that both. Give me both. Um, I'm going to give it a... 
she's like a 10. Oh, love I love her. That. We I had the best experience working for her. Uh, she was amazing. That's good. But like the actual job, not because of her, but because of other people, like mm. up maybe a five. Oh yeah. Being an assistant would be such a hard job. Yeah. It's, it's like I couldn't even take care of myself out. I'd take care of someone else. It's like yeah. so hard. Yeah. Well, I was so motivated too because it was Mariah Carey. Oh my God. Were you nervous? <laughs> Did you like I would stutter? I, I was stutter all the time. So nervous. Really? All the time. It never got better. What was the most nerve wracking <laughs> thing? Like, would you have to go in her room and like you know, she's like, Jane, she's like, just come in. You're like, no, I don't want to. Like, <laughs> I mean, not like weird, but you know what I mean? Like, I would be, I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, I'm going to see her. <laughs> no, she wasn't really weird about that. I didn't feel okay. comfortable with that. I feel like just in the beginning, I was like so nervous, anxious all the time. Like, it was St. Patrick's Day and she let me know the night before that she wanted a green, a lime green Lamborghini. She's very you. Oh my I God, feel I love like. that. Like, like <laughs> you know I what I mean? The like, money, yeah. oh my gosh. <laughs> she wanted to have like a, li- a lime green Lamborghini for the day to rent out a pu- uh, Irish pub on Sunset and to, she wanted leprechauns. Oh my God, was the same Patrick's Day? <laughs> <laughs> was it just for us or was it March no, 17th? No, it was her oh, St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. day. Yeah. Where was she going to drive the Lamborghini? To <laughs> the pub. Oh my God, <laughs> iconic. And she doesn't drive, so it was like for her boyfriend. Oh her boyfriend drove it. Oh my God, was this when she's with Brian? She's still with Brian, right? Yeah. The dancer. Mm-hmm. So you stopped working for Mariah Carey. According to your 10 minute TikTok, which I love, by the way, I love that you do the long TikToks. And I got so many views. So I was like, oh my God, good for you. you got no. more. I was amazing. So I so was many like, likes. so many likes. Oh. No, I'm telling you. I feel you, like the last time I looked at it, there was like almost 300,000 likes. That's insane. That mm-hmm. was crazy. The ratio was so nice. The comments were so nice. I'm so used to, like, we talk about all the time, like a pendulum, like people liking me, hating me. Mm-hmm. So, like, do you see all those comments? I thought for sure people were going to rip you apart, being like, do not give this girl money and blah, 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 and all stuff like that. But they were like so nice. Everyone's like, I want to buy, I want to get these boots. And I was like, <laughs> wow, what a cool effort. But yeah. I could never, oh my God, I could never take. Could you imagine me? I'm like, oh, thank you for the $7,000 boots, everyone. Like, it's better to donate it to right. a charity, of course. And you were down, which you're so inspiring. The case with the Lyft driver, when did that happen? Before we move on from this, yes. okay. actually, Let's I want to give you this. Oh my god, I can't believe there's <laughs> gifts. Oh my gosh. I, these flowers are from YouTube, by the way, right? Yeah. They are so beautiful. I so came in. I was this like, oh is my a, gosh. a fun fact. <laughs> I love a fun fact. Tell me. From Mark's Garden. So they did Britney's wedding. Oh! <laughs> is this, oh my god, are these the colors yeah. she used? Oh, I just I sent him a picture of your set and I was oh like, they have to match the set. <laughs> we have a little piece of Britney with us. Yeah. Thank you. There's so I And it's like the shook. actual guy. His name's Michael. He's oh like the actual God. guy. Yeah. Maybe you can get us connected to Britney. Maybe. We can have her on the podcast. You can come on too. We'll have another seat. Well, we're all like four co hosts at one point. This is great. We just got this like little wedding thing for love it too. So it looks perfect. I love, love it. it. Thank you for these. They were so, so beautiful. I think you saw that I was going to or I told everyone like I wanted to you to know like who is contributing to buying oh, the boots or donating yes, to charity. Yes. So I couldn't just like do a card. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I, I had this made. What is this? But oh. this, is, <laughs> this is everyone's like names oh, in the background and everything. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. We're gonna have to put this on like every episode. This is <laughs> so, so sweet. So pretty. Oh my god, all the names. Oh my gosh, you have their first and last names on here? Yeah. Oh, oh my, my god. Gosh. Oh look at this. Oh my <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> we have Hannah, and I don't know if I should say the last name, Caitlin, Coleman, I mean, some of this might be the last name, Will, Williams, Dominique, Molly, Bethany, Mitchell, Haley, Megan, oh my god, Jasmine, Vanessa, Holly, Emma, Amanda, oh my god, this is so great, you have all their names, I have to like find yeah. all of them on TikTok and think yeah. of this, so, because we, you hit the goal, right? Yeah, I did. You raised seven thousand dollars or six thousand? Six thousand five hundred. I wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about the tax. <laughs> they really get you with the tax. I was like seven thousand dollars. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, no, that was literally. Thank you guys so much. First of all, that's so nice. I mean, your product is so good too. So that's why I was like super excited because I was like, oh my gosh, like this is a tanning product. They get something for it. Yeah. The fact that you were gonna donate all those to me, I'm like, that is so freaking nice. Like that's so much money. Like wow, thank you. <laughs> and I love that there's a boot. Honestly, we'll always remember the Givenchy boot. <laughs> I know. The I like felt like a little bit bad because I had this made before you tried them on and I was just like oh, oh my no, gosh should I, I not give worse. this to her like I would have been so embarrassed had you come here with those shoes I'm like let's try them on everyone and they don't fit I literally would have broken out into a sweat I would have been so humiliated so embarrassed it was so embarrassing because I was so excited when I got the boots I was like okay guys we did it we're getting there we got them we did it and um and then when they didn't fit I was like wow I'm like so embarrassed because they were the I white felt, I know but I felt so bad because I was like oh my god I made this into like a thing when it was like well, I love not going to be a thing no because it gave it a story it kind of gave me the motivation to buy it because I had a, I was about to buy 
buy them because there was only one pair in Vegas and we were going to go up to Vegas anyway. So I was like, just like right on the cusp to get them. And I was like, let me just go ahead and pull the trigger. I had sold one Birkin. I didn't sell the rainbow one yet, but I sold the one Birkin, which JoJo was... Siwa. Jo Siwa. I'm waiting. JoJo. <laughs> she is like the only one that can fit that Birkin. Right. Um, but yeah, so I was like, you know what? Let me just do this splurge or whatever. And then I was like, because that was so nice too. And I'm like, okay, now it's a story. Now there's like, you know, mm. I can make a TikTok. I can make a video. You know, I try to rationalize how I'm going to make this money back in my head. So then I was like, oh, you know, then we can donate this money to charity and all stuff. I thought it would be like really cute. Yeah. Especially because you're so like charitable. Like that was like literally so nice. The fact that you like raise money for like strangers is like, how? Where do you find it in your heart? I need to start doing that maybe. I don't know. Like I, um, I met a very powerful manifester actually mm. who she like manifested being JLo's masseuse. And I was just like, okay, if she can wow. manifest like something that specific, I can too. Wow. And Wait, who was this? Was this, this wasn't the Lyft driver? No, this was someone else. Okay. Yeah, it's a different so person. So it's but getting... She, but she, yeah, she like sort of like put me on this path of like... Manifesting. Manifesting. What's your ultimate manifestation? I just want to say our ultimate manifestation, then we'll continue with the story. That I've done or that... I feel like this is like the fastest manifestation I've ever that had in my fucking <laughs> life. Like this happened in like one week. I know. Isn't it crazy? It's like, like you I posted it a week ago. I, <laughs> like, I was so excited. I was so excited about this whole thing. I thought I was going to have the boots, but yeah. I love that. Oh my gosh. I love that. Let's see. Okay, great. Okay. So I don't know how... Again, everything with me always happens because of a breakup. I okay. feel like... I love that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this this guy, um, I had this situation ship. It didn't work out. I wound up having this Lyft driver who like picked me up in a yellow pickup truck, and I was just like, I saw it on my thing, and I was like being dropped off in Beverly Hills, and I was like, I can't fucking be dropped off in Beverly Hills in a yellow pickup truck. Like LA what mentality. the fuck? Yeah. But I was just like, whatever, just go. And so I went, and her name is Lupe, and um, she asked me how I was, and you know, sometimes when you're in that headspace when you're going through a breakup, like anyone who asks you, you're just gonna like tell them absolutely mm -hmm. everything that's on your mind because you just like want someone to talk to so I started telling her everything and then ultimately ultimately it led me into asking her like what's your dating life like whatever she told me she didn't have time to date I like pride why she told me that she was a single mom and her son has autism and so she would like drive all the way to LA she lives like 90 minutes away just to be like busy here all the time wow. um I think her mom would take care of him during that time and then she told me she had recently been been diagnosed with brain cancer oh. Oh um, so then I was just like, oh my fucking yeah. God, I'm a piece of shit. I've been literally talking about this boy that I'm not going to remember in a year. Mm -hmm. And this woman's like battling cancer, yeah. you know? So it was just like sort of a reality check. And I literally remember leaving and I like gave her all the cash that I had on oh me because gosh. I was just like, I feel like I have to do something nice. Wow. And I couldn't stop thinking about her for like the next two weeks. And I'm not like a big prayer, but like I prayed and like mm -hmm. I had like one of those thoughts come to my head like I need to do something good for other people you know like yeah. I need to be able to like give love in order to receive love was sort of like the totally. message I received from that so I was like working at this high-end salon in Beverly Hills and I was like I know enough people that I can raise ten thousand dollars like that's my goal um so I raised ten thousand dollars just from most of it was like from social media honestly like Facebook and Instagram mm -hmm. and yeah, and then Lyft luckily connected me with her, and I... Wow, how'd you, how'd you get that? Yeah, so from your ride history on there, oh. I called, and wow. then they had to, like, call her first to make sure she was okay with me even contacting her, uh. and she was just, like, in disbelief, because she was like, I only told you and one other person no that, that, like, what I was going through. So, um, yeah, I went there, I surprised her, mm. she was, like, going through chemotherapy at that point, uh. so she was, like, not really aware, but then the next day she called me, like, freaking out, mm. and and then just like the press that was around it, I wound up, we wound up raising her another 15,000. So, wow. Yeah. It's amazing. No, it's really amazing how you do that. Like to, totally. to get that around, to get that much money. Like it's not easy to do. Totally. And I, and I think like, because like I didn't really have any intention from that, but to do something from a selfless mm -hmm. place for other people, I wound up working for Mariah literally right after that. Oh my god! And I wound up making like five times what I raised happens. for her. So I was just like, oh okay. It's like, all it's that that's the golden rule, right? What you give is what you get back. Mm -hmm. Times ten, whether it's money, love, kindness, all totally. that stuff like that, which is like why I try not to put out negativity or drama and stuff like that because I get it. But I know that happens with money too. It's like it's a crazy miraculous how that works. Yeah, why I'm, I'm very like giving with money too because it's just like it comes back. You know, it always comes back like somehow. Yeah, in some I always way. give so many money. If I have it on me. Yeah, always. Not, I anybody, feel. not just everybody. Right. <laughs> but like, like, you want if someone's homeless, like any time I see somebody, I'm like, I can't not oh, because like they course. need it more than I do. Yeah, no, of course. Those are one of those things where it's just like, but anyways, that's very inspiring. That was like the most inspiring thing you did. So I was like, oh my gosh, we should do that. And I feel like everybody was like down to do it. So what's the charity we're donating to? What do you want to do? Oh, I thought we had one. Did we oh, have did the, we didn't decide? Oh, I didn't so, know if you had a specific one because no, I know you talked about like your childhood. I know, I know childhood. we talked about um, Maui. 
Oh, right. right. And well, we, we talked c- about something for LGBT yeah, youth. Yeah, we could divide, right? Or we both have mental problems, right. so we could do something like... <laughs> <laughs> Don't all the mentally ill people Yeah, something for like mental health. We yeah. could do something like I that, too. I love all of it. I love all of it. Maybe you could donate some money to the one, and then I'll donate to another one. So. You do that? Yeah, I could do Maui, okay. or we could do... I love I will, LGBTQ. I will say, if there were any comments, it would be about Maui. So if okay. you want to do that, let's we can... Do Maui. Let's do Maui. But also, we love the gays on this show, so I feel like we should do some... Is there a specific gay homeless charity? Okay, we definitely definitely should because I feel like that's probably an issue more people go through than people know and probably like a lot of people don't have like friends that they can mm-hmm. like hang out with you know what I mean which is like very sad which is why a lot of people get into like sex work and stuff like I know when I did sex work I met so many of my gay friends there because a lot of them just go into that because it's easy money and it's also you know something they have to do and totally I think that would be really yeah, cool I love the idea the yeah. LA LGBT center is the yeah we should donate to them okay Perfect. yeah we'll donate the money today get it on I think that's so amazing yeah oh my gosh I'm so excited so we didn't get the Givenchy boots but we are donating to a good cause. The Givenchy we boots are. don't fit anyways. So it's what it is. I don't even know what I was It happened. <laughs> it all happened so fast. Because yeah. like you kept saying, like I don't know how he figured this out, that this was even like oh, what I wanted. Oh, that's the question. How did you? Because I was like, there's. I did not mention it. Because I was like, no, I don't want to mention it. Because I don't want someone to buy my size. I don't want someone else to wear it first. And then be like, oh, Trisha copied this person. I honestly, like you said that maybe you said something in the podcast with Christine Quinn. Yeah. So I'm assuming it was that. I feel like but I did But it was enough times that like I knew it. Because so I I thought you said it twice, but then I was on Instagram one day and obviously our phones are listening to us. Right. So I had a Givenchy like crystal boot and I obviously you didn't say specifically what no, it was, yeah. but I was like, oh my God, this is what she's fucking talking that about. That is crazy. And then I, but it was green and I was like, this can't be it. The so green then was I, kind of a vibe. I saw it at the store. Really it was kind of a vibe. It, yeah. yeah, it was kind of cute, but the pink was better. Um, I clicked one in and I was like, oh my God. And then when I saw the pink one, I was like, this is it. And then you said uh, something on Tana's podcast. And so I was just like, oh my oh, God. Yeah. Cause I thought I was being really like, I think I even said shoes cause I didn't want even people to know it's boots. I'm like, people are going to figure out the boot situation, but you really got it. So when I saw, I was like, what? Because I just know. I just know I didn't say anything because I was like, I didn't want anyone to know this. And then you put it on blast and I'm like, let me just put it on blast too and manifest it. And we did. We got it within like a day. We were literally cool. going to Vegas the next day. So I was just like, oh man, let me just go get these boots. And so that's when I had told you. But I was like, oh, but you know, that if you raise money, that's like such a good thing too. So yeah. we did get the Givenchy purse, but. Love it. I, I love it, but it kind of looks like all of them. I have like a Versace. I have like a Balenciaga. Like they all look the same. Yeah. And if I'm being honest, a little cheap. Like, look at Wasn't the crystals. That? Oh. You know what I mean? Like, they're kind of just, like, cheaply on there. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth $3,000. I mean, it's cute. I think the boots were definitely overpriced. Overpriced? Yeah. Like, because I, yeah. you know what I mean? I was just like, <laughs> I don't know about these. I mean, yeah. They didn't fit either. I was like, wow. No, but yeah, when I saw that, the, the tiktok and i saw that you knew this color in the boot i was like oh my god this is crazy it was like meant to be i know and maybe honestly, we're just like creepy psychically connected or that something that was no but that was weird and the fact that you know so much i mean you're everything i wanted to be living in la like you knew all the tea you knew britney spears you knew paris Hilton. Oh, thanks i couldn't get hired i at felt a like a salon. loser wait what no <laughs> yes. you're living the life you worked at a tanning salon you had to be attractive <laughs> to work at a tanning salon I wait not. what so yeah. i was living the life working at a tanning salon yes nobody hired me at a tanning salon that was my dream job to get free tans all day oh yeah my strange addiction yes I oh, forgot I about that. Oh my god, tanning. I feel like this is full yes. circle. I know, but now my we strange have addiction to like healthy. my yes. <laughs> illusion bronze. Yeah. I love it. If you ever need a spokesperson, I cannot wait. I just got it, so I didn't I wasn't able to try it because I don't want anyone to think this is the patchiness came from here. <laughs> Mine is a CVS. I did Jergens. No offense to Jergens, it's okay, but it does make me a little patchy. So I'm gonna yeah. try this out. I'm so excited yeah. for it. Thank you so much for it. Tanning is your thing. You don't want to do I feel like you're performer by nature um yeah i mean i love doing social media like it's fun connecting with people um it is very hard so it is a lot of work like i don't know how you post as much in a day that you post i know it is a lot but i just love it i'm addicted i literally had like a breakdown over because people would be like you need to post more you need to post more you need to post more i'm just like oh my god i don't it's a lot it's crazy to me when people say that when they're like i don't know what to post i'm like oh my god i don't know like how to stop posting i feel like i post (laughs) way too much about everything to me they're memories there's like a moment in time you want to capture like Mm -hmm. this is such a moment in time when i saw that and I saw your TikTok I was like oh my god like I felt a little shift in my like heart and in my being where I stopped looking at negative comments I'm like you know what I'm gonna only focus on this kind of like love and stuff like that people were so supportive and so nice and I wasn't used to that so now in my head that's like where I'm gonna be for the rest of my life I'm like oh people just love and support me and never look at bad again yes. like you know if I get canceled or whatever whatever I don't know just- I will say like there were so few 
bad comments yeah. honestly there yeah. really were oh, and that's I thought nice. it was just like and all of the things were more about like relating to me and sa- and saying like oh my god yeah I, I started watching her at this time and mm. and um there were a couple comments that like really stood out to me there was one that was from a girl who said oh why is it gonna make me cry I no. was like I was like what she was like why she was like uh I spent um three Thanksgivings alone but I mm. did it because I was with Trisha Aww. and I was just like oh my god that's like the sweetest thing I, like yeah I spent so many Thanksgiving alone and that's why I've done those videos I have it's like, two, it's, actually. yeah and holidays alone is just it can be depressing not always yeah. but it can be and you just are like wow I wish I had someone I never had someone to bring home to my family I never lived with the guy I was like god why is everyone having these relationships and these cute family photos at the holidays and I don't have that you know and it's yeah. like it's hard it's hard like it's, you can't just snap out of it like people think sometimes you do but yeah thank you so much for coming out here yeah. really truly thank you so much for having me I think me. you're just everything I think you're so successful I think you're doing so well thank you so much for raising this money I'm happy we can donate it of course it's so, be so I, great. I uh wrote a couple questions down in my phone because okay. I was just yes. like I don't know I'm ever going to be able to like, ask, her, yeah. ask her oh my gosh. ever again. I love it. I should give you some note cards. Um, oh Moses. my God. This is, this <laughs> is something I want to ask you. Okay. So you, did, is your couch really based off of Mariah's? Oh, yes. That is so funny. Oh, when I saw Mariah Carey's cribs, uh, everything about her, the little d- kitchen dining, you remember that little like booth she had in her kitchen? Yes. And it had like little butterfly prints on it or something <laughs> like that. I loved it. But the mermaid room, when I saw that giant yes. couch, we call ours the mermaid room. We have like an ocean thing. Like it's a whole vibe. Oh, is it? Yeah, he literally, Moses made it. He literally like took it exactly from right. Made it a little bigger for me because yeah. I wanted it to size. I wanted it to look oversized. Um, but I live for that Cribs episode. It looks so amazing. I know. It's pretty iconic. Oh, so good. Her I was, closet. Like, so, I was just as excited to like go to her New York apartment for the first time as oh. I was to like meet her was it the cribs one or is it yes. different she still, still have it? she still has oh, it so apparently appara- <laughs> can i come she does so much social media stuff like she's always with like for mac she like met people like yeah she did yeah, that was a weird I never got a- <laughs> she was meeting the most random influencers i'm like how do i not get invited to yeah, these things yeah that was so weird mm, i live for mariah now yeah that's what i'm saying i've always just loved the vibes of mariah carey oh my god can you can you try to get her on the podcast? Can we go to New York together? Yeah. I'll be like, I'll go with you. You'll be She'll my She'll be in. on next week. Oh, my God. I would live. Oh, Mariah. She's kind of everything. Um, well, I feel like you yeah. talk a lot about your experience, like, being on the Eminem video. Yes. But I don't, I don't feel <laughs> like much. I've ever heard you talk about what it was like to be on the Amy Winehouse video. Oh. Oh, that's a good question. Okay, so Amy Winehouse was my first music video. Mm-hmm. I was 18. It was David LaChapelle was the director, mm-hmm. which was like so big to me because he did all yeah, Pamela shoot and stuff. I was 18. Um, it was really great. I was so like minute and you miss me. Like I'm so quick in the video. Yeah. I was in two different locations. It was this one on like La Cienega by the Beverly Center. There was like a teal motel and they shot it there. And it was like, I was so nervous because I was hired to play a hooker. And in real life, I was a hooker. So I was like so <laughs> nervous that people back home would know. They're like, oh, they're going to see this and think that I was a hooker. Like I asked, I was asked to be on Gene Simmons show as a hooker. And I was just like, I just don't want it to seem real. So I was so nervous that people back home thought I was a hooker and they did. They're like, oh, she's in this video. She's a hooker. So I was like, they found me out. So I never really talked about it because I was always so embarrassed. Now it's kind of Cool. She was definitely, she was with the guy Pete. Um, she was definitely very petite and small, but she was, she was definitely like had her Not issues. Well. Yeah. And it made me. I know it's so sad because mm-hmm. like she's so talented. She really That's what I was, was. thinking. Like all these. And so young. So young. So talented. So beautiful. And all these people around her, no one's helping her. Like she had this guy who was literally picking her up. You know, she's like wobbling around and it was just like so heartbreaking to me. And I think that was like my first time seeing like a really dark side for real. You hear about it on like each Hollywood story, but like seeing an actual dark side to it made me really sad. And um, it was a great video. I remember David LaChapelle, I had a sequins like corset on and he asked me to take it off because he hates sequins. So I had to show my belly and I thought my belly was so fat, but I was actually like. He's bossy, huh? He was bossy. He's like, I hate sequins. I'm like, but I don't want to show my belly. He was like, like, then get out. There's a clip of him and like Britney yelling at each other like when she was filming one of her music videos. Oh, what did he do? Make me. It was like from Wait, the Glory album, the he last album. Make me, did he yeah. do the original video or the one that he, came out? He did the original one, not the one that came out. See, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> the one with their all like nude underwear and yes, stuff like that. Yes, the good one. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I wonder what happened. Like, I why? Don't know. She was like on a tractor or something screaming at him. There was like somebody outside filming it happen. Music video directors are intense because the one who did Eminem was Joseph Kahn. And he was very, not necessarily to me, but to the stylist. They had me in a denim skirt to begin with because they had no shorts that fit me. And he's like, what are these? These are not Daisy Dukes. Like, get Daisy. Like, he was very like mad at the stylist, which I get. Like, it didn't look like Daisy Dukes. But I was too fat for the wardrobe, even though I was playing fat Jessica Simpson. And I was like, why didn't we get bigger jeans for me? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I should have brought my own lesson learned. Every time I do a shoot, I always bring my own sizes now. Yeah, but it was a great. <laughs> Amy Winehouse is a great video. Tears dry on their own. <gasps> yes. Okay. I have like three oh, I love different this. And three sections. I don't think I've ever been interviewed <laughs> no. back. I love it. Okay. Let me do a little talk. Okay, real quick. cool. Okay, cool. Ellen was canceled mm. when you were on it. 
Did Wait, you when ha- I was on it? When you were on oh. it, did you have, like, a bad experience, or was it just, like, whatever? Because well, you were so, like, on and off. Yeah, I mean, it really was just don't look at Ellen. <laughs> really? Like, don't look at her, don't touch her. So, in the clip, when I'm, like, doing the fast reading video, I literally touch her arm or something. I'm like, oh, you're so pretty, or something like that. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm not supposed to touch you. I literally said, I'm like, oh, I'm not supposed to touch you, or something. And because they were literally big, like, do not touch her. No Do way. not look at her. Like, you'll be escorted off. Like, it was so... Don't look at her? Yeah, and I wasn't in the audience. You know, they pre-cast those things. You know, I think it was... Maybe they found me on YouTube or something, um, and they pre-cast them. So you're like planted in the audience. So they know you're going to be there. You do sound check. You do all that stuff. I was mic'd up clearly. So, um, yeah. That's so weird because everyone, that was one of the things that people would always ask me about Mariah. Like if it was true that you can't look at her. And I was like, no. Isn't that crazy? So weird. No, but they, they say that with a lot of people. Like a couple other shows I've been on, they've said that. Well, you and I have another mutual friend who okay. used to color her hair. And he told me that he, oh, he, he uh, told me that she was the only client he ever fired. Like was like, I'm not going to color her hair again because she was that horrible. Me? Is no, about me? not you. Oh, I was like, Who Ellen. Oh, my God. Ellen. <laughs> oh, oh, is it Kimbo? No. Yeah, she's she's kind of awful. Okay, so Daddy Issues. Okay. EP. Oh, yes. Debuted at yes. 25. Oh, my God. <laughs> on, it was on Billboard. Yeah, it was on Billboard's crazy. top heat singers. Yes. That's crazy. Yeah. So, <laughs> that was a big deal. I was like, wow, so I'm on Billboard? Do, do you want to do more music? Yes. Or are you just not doing it just because it's obviously a big expense Oh, my right God. Now? Yes, it's such a big expense. I talk mm-hmm. about this a number of times. It's literally 10 million. Everyone's like, the number changes. I'm like, if I was being real, it's like a $12 million number if I'm being real. That's so but crazy. But I spent so much. But we talked about it before you came on. I was like, I would love investor or I gotta go get my lottery tickets tonight before it gets seven o'clock. But um, if I win the lottery, I would do it. I love it. I have so many ideas. I have so many music. I want to do a Sad Boy Three. I want to do more pop music. I want to do I Love You, Krishna. Like I want so much music to be done. Yeah. So I'll find me and Tana's country album. You know, I think that'd be a bop. We can go totally. together. Oh, okay. This one I actually really like. Okay, so like Britney Spears. I love this when one she, When she goes missing or something, people know. Right. So like when you were having that like difficult time in like 2018 or 19 mm-hmm. and people knew you were missing, like they were like, what's going on? Where? Mm-hmm. What does that feel like to know that like all of these people are like watching your every move to the point that they're like, something's not right. What? Why isn't she posted in two days? Like, yeah. does it make you feel anxious? Does it make you feel like happy? Does it make you feel? Well, I mean, this will account. To, yeah. to my character back then, you know, I I definitely wanted that. I definitely mm-hmm. was like, let me disappear. It was hard for me to disappear because I love posting. But I, I did that on purpose. Like, I wanted to see who would care. And it was like, it, and it's it's very manipulative, of course. Like, this is why I lost a lot of relationships. And it's hard to be with someone who's, like, mentally unstable and not getting help because, you know, you are a manipulative person. I was. I wanted people to worry about me. I wanted people to whatever. And um, no one really did. I shut off my phone and stuff like that. My, my mom and sister did and they came to my apartment, but I had it locked and stuff like that. But it, it took a while. And I I, I was just like, but they were used to it at that time because I had just got in a relationship of me kind of disappearing. So it's comforting now to know, like, mm-hmm. if something happens, you know, it's like, to me, I, I don't feel anxious in a way I feel comforted. I'm like, you know what, people will worry, right? And not, mm-hmm. not, a, not a worry way, just more of like, well, people care. And because I felt yeah. for so long no one cared about me, it's just, it's just nice. And maybe that's like narcissistic or whatever. I don't know. But it feels comforting. Um, and I would never do that now. So if I stop posting one day, it's I would never do it on purpose. And I would say, I'm like, hey, guys, I'm not posting for a couple of days because I worry about people who stop posting. I'm like, yeah. are they okay? You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Moses, I just, the only question I wanted to ask you is, so I don't know why there's like certain clips or things that you watch that just like stick in your brain and like you can't forget. I can't and I remember when you guys first started seeing each other and Trisha was being Trisha mm-hmm. and you, you were just being like, when, you were talking about marriage. Of course, you were just like, I want to get married. Right I want to get married. I want to get married. Mm-hmm. And you were basically like, I don't know. I don't know if I see that, if it's going to happen, blah, blah, blah. So, like, wh- there ha- was there a moment that you remember, like, something shifted? You want to share the seat? I don't know if I can move over anything. <laughs> okay, you lean? Okay. Oh, my gosh. I take up the whole seat. Are you good? Okay. I'll look small behind you. Hmm. It's hard to say the moment. Because the thing is, I liked her from day one. Yeah. Really loved her. And then everything kind of went against us everyone went mm-hmm. against us they didn't want us to date everything just went against us and i think i actually think it's more she changed there was a moment where she mm. decided that she's getting serious you know serious about this serious about us and about our future mm-hmm. you know so i don't know i think that it just took us time to figure out each other and to figure out our future because at the time she was like i want to be a uh, Corn star, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I was doing OF and using. So it's like, I want to do that full time. I was like, yeah. I was in love with okay. someone else. I literally was just I was like, like, I love this person. That's great. We'll Ooh. be great friends, you know? You know? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It, just, it was just hard for me to know where it's all going because she was heading a certain direction. Yeah. But then when she shifted, I was like, oh, okay. Right. Because I, I mean, for me, it was from day one, yeah. a strong connection. 
You know what's so fascinating actually is that like I feel like that that's like a common thing when people don't want people to be together it just pushes them together even more oh. like people and, lie to us about yeah. each other like oh yeah so many things crazy you want to yeah we but, would br- have a little break and they're like oh they don't want to get back yeah. together they don't want to get back meanwhile we're like we were like dying to get back together we're like what did they say yeah you know, like yeah. yeah no it made us stronger everything for sure and moses is just the best the white okay well thank you for indulging all my, oh my questions God, thank you for interviewing me. For me thank you so yeah. much for everything the thank gifts so the donation much. the flowers yeah. just being you your tiktok your words everything made my whole day awesome. and it manifested the best week of my life because that's when it all came off last week and Aww. it was literally the best week ever so here's to another best week ever starting Yay. with this podcast cheers. Cheers. my baby does that all the time show those cheers thank you Matthew Stevens find Thanks. him on TikTok and yeah. Illusion Bronzer awesome. Bronze. Illusion <laughs> Bronze. <laughs> this is why I'm yes. not a good host alright thanks guys for watching see you next time